What's happening? It's your boy Lewis Belt. You understand me? It's the Cali Kickback. You know, we already got Christina Mack in this thing. How you feeling, girl? I'm feeling great. With your Beyonce boots. You see me. Yeah, <laughs> Virgo, right? Big Virgo. Yeah, you go to Beyonce concert? I did. You had fun? Was, did I? That was, there's no show in the world like that. And I went to Drake's concert a couple days before. Mm -hmm. She's the best entertainer in the world. Ooh. She better than Chris Brown? She's the best entertainer in the world. Oh, shit. But Damn. I would say Chris Brown is the second. Somebody did say that. She could probably follow Michael Jackson. No, That's she could probably saying. follow anything. She's already there. I mean, like, if he went, she could go after and wouldn't be like, oh, who's this? No, I don't know. That moonwalk there. cold. Oh, that's what I'm saying. She's the already nigga there. moonwalk in real life. This I'm going to be like. She's been on tour for almost two months and she hasn't made one fall. She hasn't messed up one, nothing. Hey, don't don't, bink, don't jinx the queen. I'm not jinxing Victoria her. She's over. a Virgo. My birthday was yesterday. Her birthday was the day before. So. Happy belated birthday. Thank you. Oh, happy birthday. Okay. Hey, what would you rather go to uh, to get a girl? A Beyonce concert or a Drake concert? To oh, I'm going to say Beyonce. I mean, Drake because I kind of could look like him, so they might live out their fantasy through me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I get them, I get the little male unit and then they be like, yo, no. this is, we can role play the joint. You know what I'm saying? They gonna get crazy with it. You That's smart. It? You know what I'm saying? They That's be like, oh, you kind of got the beard. Of, you like, oh yeah. You do look to, like the going, fake Drake. <laughs> they gonna get no. crazy. That nigga look like birthday cake. Fuck Drake. I didn't, I didn't see one seven in the audience. It was all tens at mm. Beyonce. It was some fives and fours. Did you go to the Drake concert? Who yes, went to the Drake concert? It was fives and fours and Drake. Fives and fours, huh? Mm -hmm. You know what I learned is mm -hmm. that ugly women and big women are the most aggressive towards dudes out of their their league. Like they'll be like, "Oh, you," I'll post something like like on my page, like kind of like self-deprecating, like ripping on myself, mm -hmm. and it'd be always the worst. It's like, "All right, you look good to me." Be writing the DM. I'll be like, "What? Well, no." It's, I feel it don't same. never be no bad joint. Like, no, I'll. I'll, I'll take I feel you the out. same about my DMs. Don't get me wrong. I got a nice variety of everything in my DMs. Mm, but your P. <laughs> it's everybody in there. But but dudes but, don't care because the looks on what. No, but most of the men DMing me. I don't understand how they had the courage to even do it. Like they That's been, why they doing it cuz they on the internet. Yeah. They wouldn't come up and walk up on you and be like, "What's up? Turn right. around as soon as you turn around." Besides you're the right. looks, I fucked anything, up popping my pee around this motherfucker. You're right. Yeah. Besides the looks, is there anything that would make them have the cur the, the audacity to be like, oh, "I got the bag, so what's up?" Like I might not look like nothing. But, but men that have the bag that, don't allow their like I know this sounds crazy and young, but just hear me out, right? Mm -hmm. The aesthetic of your Instagram says a lot about how it's like a business card to me. Like it's if a brand. I, it's a brand. Like if I go to your page and it's mm -hmm. just like it looks like a 2003 flyer for teenagers, like mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, immediately, like you're not my type because I can tell by how your Instagram looks that you're not taking things seriously. Like you don't understand the importance. Number one of this, you might not need it for that, but I can tell that you don't understand the importance of branding, Damn. and that says a lot to me about a man. What about if he a good man but, and he's just bad at branding? But a good man has common sense on what you should and shouldn't be posting. Like, mm -hmm. if your page looks like a 2003 function, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, and in the background, I could see your closet. You got Mitch Matt's hangers, your shoes all over the floor. She, going, she is in there like, yeah, yeah. you on some, uh, what's that little <laughs> yeah. TV called? I uh, forgot. Next. <laughs> Yeah, Room Raiders. Room Raiders. <laughs> Damn, thank y'all. <laughs> yeah, you on some Room Raiders For shit. For sure, though. It says a lot about a man how his aesthetic looks. He has jizz like, on his floor. Like, what? Nigga can't so, jack off? <laughs> I'm saying more so, like you said, there'll be people in your DMs that you don't understand how they have, like, the audacity. The courage, yeah. So what I'm saying is, like, maybe if they don't look good, mm -hmm. but what if they're in there because they're like, well, I, I got I paid. Provide, I got paid, bro. I can, I can give her a world she ain't never had. So this is why that might work for somebody who ain't providing for themselves. Oh, that may be why they they think they they got the shot. It could be, but I don't, don't come over here with that. You got but nine money. times out of ten, that's gonna work. Because a dude ain't gonna be like, me. oh, I'm ugly. She don't like me. They be like, they got the knot in their pocket. Nah. They be like, what you trying to do? They gonna have confidence. You know what I believe? I believe this type of energy that I hold, I can have anything I want. I can have exactly what I want. So why would I? Because you got some money, I'm a settle because you could provide. Do you? You must not know. You care about looks a lot. Immediately, yes. Okay, Damn, well, that's, a lot of women don't. Cause, oh, cause for, I don't know. I'm women, not a lot of women. I'm trying to are, procreate. Or <laughs> men, like men, it's not our looks that get us ahead. It's what we can provide. What no. we, 
It's easy for you to say you look good. It's easy for you to say you look good. Both of y'all look good. So that's easy for y'all to say. Mm -hmm. We not checking for no ugly nigga. And if, if, if look a woman... Look at Biggie. Look at Rick Ross. Like, them can niggas... I tell there's you some ugly man? niggas. Can I tell you something? Sad, but they no. know they can get... You know what I'm saying? But they, they some bosses. Can I tell you something? I watched Biggie's documentary. And at first, like, off rip, you would say, oh, he's fat, black, blah, blah, blah. Like, no. Biggie is actually really... He really was an attractive man. I can see the, I can see the appeal about him. And I know that he was big. I'm so no, serious. No, 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 no. I know no. that he was big. <gasps> I have Biggie pictures hanging up in my house. Like He was cockeyed. But, you know. <laughs> what? I understand. Got, huh? I understand 59, that. But there was era. very, there was a dope allure about that man. For but it real. wasn't his looks. It was his it, energy that you're talking about. Is Biggie about. ugly, <laughs> yes or no? <laughs> no, not to me. And Rick Ross isn't either. I'm done. Rick Ross. This shit. Rick Ross is not <laughs> ugly to me. Rick Jeez, Ross. I love ugly. everybody, but what I'm saying is, do you think Rick Ross is ugly? I I'm who I am, and I'm I feel like I don't even talk to me in past ten. I don't even worry about niggas. <laughs> I'm talking about. But what I'm saying <laughs> is, what my nigga Mike Murphy was saying. <laughs> you feel me? He's saying ugly niggas can get nice looking women because of money. I, I think that, but so I don't not know the if the niggas cute idea. or not. But ugly not the chick, ones in my idea. An ugly chick most likely can't get an attractive dude because That's she got true, money. That's not true because we be, we were talking about that the other day. I know so many women that I wouldn't check for if I was a man that have their man on lock. But are they ugly? I'm talking about like a, a biggie of a... Yeah, let's shit. get back to this Fresh biggie shit. Th those chicks aren't... Get, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Oprah's a... That's, so that's if biggie me. had no money, you would... You would Mess no, with I think the money man, the money puts us in the same room. If I'm being honest with you, no, because the money puts us in the same room. All right, if Chris Brown had no money, would you talk to Chris Brown? Chris Brown's fine. He yeah, look good. He'd be, he be moonwalking in a box without a penny. Yeah, that man is fine. He's a good looking man and he's confident. Like that that sets you apart. So yeah, it's easy for a fine rope nigga to get some money. Right? That's what we said. So That's what our point money, is. It's, it's the same for him. Maybe it could be, but I'm not checking now for Now, you ugly might man. be someone to be like, nah, the money don't matter. It don't matter because I have money. Yeah, if you didn't, though, it might matter. It might. You might be able to overlook the, the top I don't know. Guy. I got I money, know. and I be needing females with money. Yes. That's the whole reason I wouldn't be trying to holler at no girls at no Drake concert. This yes. bunch of broke bitches screaming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to the Beyonce concert because them girls got money. They bought their own ticket. They ain't worried we about all the single artists. All the them independent women. Yeah. <laughs> See, I don't like their attitudes. Take me to the Beyonce <laughs> concert. I'm knocking shit. I don't like their attitudes. <laughs> I'm going to keep it 100. So. Look, not him agreeing with you back I, there. I'm going to keep it 100. Uh, <laughs> for, for everybody listening, I grew up super traditional. So, like, if if I go out and I eat and there's women, they don't pay. Even if they're not even someone I'm That ain't nothing wrong with like, that. So you I, a so lie. If I'm going out with a woman and, and, and she I'm with going her to, friends. We oh, with her friends? Oh, yeah, that's out. No, no, it, no, no. That's a different. If, if I say, yo, let's meet and she brings. No, that's like, I'm not doing that. But I'm saying, like, let's say I go out. It's me, you, you got one of your friends. It's him, another, just a group. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what they doing, but I'm not letting the females not, pay for the food. Okay. Uh, you know what I'm yeah, I'm, I'm like, nah, just, yo. Know, He's not like that. He's like, bitch, me the, you, I, I got cash at me $27. I ain't, like, no, I I ain't through, accepting whatever, no cash you know what app because I'm a true Mac. I'm talking about I cash. Just, I, so I, when, I, when women got their money, they like to talk to dudes yeah. crazy. And I'm mm -hmm. like, yo, I don't got nothing. I don't have this to deal with. That's true. Like, and I ain't saying I want to use my money to manipulate you or be like, I got the money, shut up. Yeah. Not that, but women who tend to have money, usually, usually not all, have mannerisms and behaviors yeah. like men because yeah. to attain money in America you got to be strong headed you got to mm -hmm. be n no nonsense when women are like bosses at the company they're bitches at the house like they're they're coming home what the fuck ah, I don't take this from because they're so used to running over dudes in a, the world that's why but that's why you got to have a room. third leg throw that thing in her <laughs> have your own money and then they respect you. Because it's like, you ain't going to control me because I got money, you got money. Right. I got a third leg, you don't. If we both have... If, <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. I dated a guy who I had more money than, and it was, like, very annoying. Like, I felt like I was, like... Hypergamy. Yeah. It's for women to date equal or under... under but them. I want to... I don't want to do that ever again. That you're not supposed to. I only want to date a man that can lead me and teach me new things so I can make another. That sounds that sounds good on paper. I want a guy we can be bosses together. No, it don't work like that. No, as not necessarily. I want him to make more him, money than me if, if I could pick. No, that's what I'm saying. Oh, okay. you, you want a, I want a guy we're equal and I, I, I'll i take care of him. That shit sound good for a shade room. It does. Fuck out of here. You're that right. Shit don't work. You're right. 
You know what's his name? I want my girl to have some money. I don't know, bro. I, I feel that. I, it's it, my penis gets soft when a woman don't got no money. You know that? Um, how do you <laughs> it say, don't get up? How do you say Tiana Taylor's husband's name? Uh, Iman Shumpert. He's <laughs> what? <laughs> Say it again. Iman Shumpert. Oh, okay. We watch basketball, so that's okay. why we know. But I thought I heard some other letters in there when you said it the first time. Oh, for real? But no. Um, so he made a post and he was like, we don't need our women to have money. That's not what turns us on. We going to take care of everything. You don't have to do nothing. I'm like, that's so easy for him to get on camera and say when his wife is rich. But like, but he's I'm glad you got he's enough rich. game to peep that. I'm like, that is him trying to game, not even game anybody, because I don't want to be disrespectful to Tiana. I'm a huge fucking fan. <laughs> but not even game anybody, but just like, that's him trying to butter up what, broke bitches? Like, I don't understand why you would say that. You should be telling these women to go get some money so and date, and then like date in your category, you know what I'm saying? But men do not like it when you're broke. I don't know who told y'all that. Like, Mike Murphy said it's I okay. Care. I don't know. Fuck, I'll take a bitch from McDonald's and change her whole world if I can. See, and this nigga's like that, Bye. fucking it up for the game. Yeah. For me, so I don't knock. I don't knock. I don't knock nobody like Lewis. Everybody's different. Like what? just for me, come on, that, let's dig it. Because for me, what I value in a woman is not monetary. Right. Like if mm -hmm. let's say, let's say I have a million dollars sitting in the bank, okay. right? And I'm like, man, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with this because it's just sitting there. Whatever. If I get a woman who's just like, yo, we going on a trip, we doing this, da, 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 that's a liability. Okay. I don't yeah. want that. She gonna have no money and be like, but I think maybe my uncle, he do real estate. Let's sit down with him. Oh, she's a keeper. Because she's rich in a different way. She Let's yep. talk about McDonald's, though, because you brought up the subject of McDonald's. Yeah. You would pull up to McDonald's and the woman that's serving you right then and there, you would date her. She better than a two-year-old. Absolutely. Yo, give me, put your number on a receipt. And, and, and if I'm at the position where I can be like, yo, quit this motherfucking job, too. Once we get not right at the drive through, like, I think that's I ain't doing great. That, but. I think that's great for the, but but to me, you shouldn't even be working at McDonald's unless you're between fifteen and maybe twenty one. Okay, so you got me there because I wouldn't date anybody tough. that young. So that's you, tough. She's right about that. So maybe not McDonald's, but just a job that's not highly desired. Let's say that y'all got McDonald's okay. fucked up because no. McDonald's. Yeah, I think like if you're that's McDonald's, a kid job. That's, that's a, kid a first time like, resume have, builder. She could be a manager at McDonald's and be having some chicken McNuggets. Okay, she's a manager, and I mean money. No. <laughs> I'm saying she could be a, a manager is not making more than twenty one dollars an hour. That's not a at McDonald's wage. at McDonald's. That's no, but not I'm a saying she wage. might not be young though. Like if you're like working the fries. But why is no. she, why are you thirty seven working at McDonald's and you better than a two year old? You got me in a you got me in a corner. Mm -hmm. Maybe she mismanaged the vagina somewhere along the road. I don't know. That's what I'm saying that you should have better. Because she was for under yourself. some simping, not some pimping. You know what I'm talking about? Because if you working that at McDonald's, you need to be hollering at her, Ronald. You know what I'm talking about? Her income is, doesn't dictate whether I like her or not. Is what I'm saying. But it should though, because it lets you know how much hustle she has in her. And I'm not telling hustle. you. I I'm want not, nurturing. I want you to be like, I got the kids. But I got dinner. I, clean I can the take house. care of the no kids, hustle. nurture. I can do all those. Do you understand how uh, much a human body can do? Like a woman to me that just takes care of the kids, just takes care of the house, just rubs your back when you get home. That's not enough to build. Like it depends on what kind of life you want, though. Let me tell you but something. To build a life, a sustainable life where you're both happy, you can't be out on your ass working every day. So let me say this. And maybe this you, is, Christine. and I'll give you this. <laughs> You said you know how much a human body could do. Yeah. Just because you can do something don't mean you should. Mm. But so I'll say that. But I'll say another thing too. And because people get this construed, what me and him do misconstrued. Oh, what did I say? You said construed. Oh yeah, misconstrued. My bad. <laughs> it's okay. Play as fuck. Trying up. to help. Play as fuck up. Help so the, what me and him do, mm -hmm. and I believe in him just like I believe myself. We gonna be at the top. Mm -hmm. The money we gonna have. It, we ain't out there breaking Yeah, but you back. don't get tired of spending your money? You don't want some money No, that you? makes me feel good. No, listen, you I'll tell you. You don't want a nice I don't care too. how much money I don't I like got. gifts. Okay, so for your, for like your, gifts. no, that's bullshit. I swear to God, I don't like it. Like, I want you to do something. If you do something thoughtful, I'll accept it. But I'm not like, yo, it's my birthday. What'd you get me? I'm like, nah, I'm cool. It's not about what you get me. It's about the feeling that when somebody got you something because they can, it feels nice. You know what? I did, I, I was talking you to a girl. You ain't never been spoiled. Right, no, nah, I was talking to a girl before I moved out here, right? We, you ain't never had a girl buy you we some. We fell in love. It was crazy. I didn't expect to even do it because I was leaving. Right. She bought me some small. It was a coffee mug. I don't really drink coffee like that, but it said, look at you making people laugh. This shit was probably like a $6 gift. That was the best gift. I was like, oh, this is dope. That is I still a great got this gift. Shit. But I'm not a big, like, yo, go buy me a, you know how no, the no. celebs be like, I bought Offset a Rolls Royce, and you be like, I don't need all that shit. I want to spoil you. I want you to spoil me with coming home, damn, smell good. Food What's is your on the She could come, she Gemini. could. 
She can come pull up, get you the Rolls Royce, and do they have some food and, and suck you and, up. And the mug is in the car, baby. I just, I just want a girl to just. I got you the coffee I, mug. As long it's as in I the feel desired by her mm-hmm. and loved, I'm, that makes me happy. Now maybe, maybe what you said is maybe I just haven't experienced it. You haven't it, experienced it, and a so woman I don't know. To maybe you. it happens, and I'm like, hey, I gotta Lewis, take you to the bank, hey, bro. Lewis, yeah. look at this, this. <laughs> we 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 like spending money on so our men. Maybe. We enjoy that. But I come like, from a broke city. The niggas don't got money. I though. come from a broke city so, too, but I decided I didn't want to be a Niggas be having chicken where I'm from. So that, you know, but where I'm from, it ain't like, so people don't, it's just, that's not a thing. You know, yeah. I came out here and was like, this shit crazy. Yeah. But so maybe, maybe you're right. I ain't, I wanna I'm not opposed to you. something new where I meet somebody and she's like, nah, oh, nah, I got us tickets to this. I'm like, oh shit. You I'm would like, love for a girl to be I like, like I got us cool. courtside tickets to the Lakers game. I might, I might be cool. I might feel. I might feel emasculated. I don't know. If, if Answer I, the question. Say that again. If I got you courtside tickets to the Lakers game, you wouldn't feel I, like I would go. If it, but it also that would make you feel emasculated. Mike, don't lie. No, no, no I'm saying I would go I'm as saying, casual as fuck. I'm being honest. I don't. I don't know how it feels. Never. I would definitely go. But depending on the situation, would probably dictate how I felt about it. You know what I'm saying? Your like, favorite. Who's your favorite artist? Uh, Jay. Favorite tickets to. VIP tickets and oh, then we're, you get we're fucking going that's what I'm saying that's like, what I'm saying that nigga happy right now it ain't even happen imagine she pull up and got the tickets he gonna be like I fuck with this I'm keeping an honor with you I've never had it so I, I'm not gonna sit here and say no fuck that I, I don't know can I tell you something I'm listening so you don't know that you like that cause you've never experienced it you've never required it you just said you were open to dating a girl at McDonald's you're above that and I, it's no disrespect to the women at McDonald's, but you're above that. She, she pressing you me. like her. I told her shit. I fuck with her. She pressing yeah, me. Yeah, you're though. above that. You have money and you deserve to feel what it's like. Like I know that you would go get a dope ass gift for a girl because that feels good when you come home with something. Maybe a Victoria's Secret credit card, uh, you know, little gift card or something. But you have to want that for yourself too because the way that you treat yourself. Is how somebody's gonna treat you. So yeah, you manifesting a you, broke bitch. You yep. manifest. That's a why you want to go to the Drake concert. So listen, we, I, me and my man, was just talking about that, and I said the way you I fuck with Drake, I'm saying the concert. But he was a broke bitch. There's some lot of broke bitches there. Yourself, Beyonce, them bitches got some money. Yeah. The way you view yourself sometimes is what you accept from others because if you feel like. Oh, I'm only right here. Then you go for, you know, what I mean, if you see yourself like I'm not nigga, I ain't taking this. Like, then you. So I agree with you on that. So maybe I just didn't have it. But what you allow is what you deserve. Everybody so if you allow dad, a broke bitch in your house, all the men in my family, it. they just. Oh, that's game. What you allow is what you deserve. So if you allow a broke bitch in your house, you deserve that. That's Seriously, crazy. you that's shouldn't. You sh- I'm not telling you that your woman should be the boss of bitch buy, buying you the Rolls Royce. Because realistically, a lot of women don't have those type of goals. They really just want to have a happy family. Yeah. But in order to truly be happy, both of you have to be putting in that same effort. You can't just think she's gonna come home, nurture you, rub your back, and raise your kids, and then you're both gonna be happy. You're spoiling the shit out of her, and you're left empty-handed. Meanwhile, your niggas over here getting a Rolls Royce for his birthday. So let me ask you this. Let me let me flip it. What if the things that I value that make me happy aren't those things that he likes. Exactly. That is, that's true, but at some point it's gonna plateau. I'm you telling think you. So? You're gonna you're gonna oh you only value love and respect. Okay, you're getting all the love and respect in the world. You're getting bored. You need your girl to come in and spice things up. Excuse me, spice things up and then make you feel good too. Whether it's like I just bought us massages, couple massages. You can't have a broke bitch. I'm telling you, it's not gonna that's not how you build a life together. So I'm not saying I want a broke bitch. I'm not saying that. So the, I think we got you off a little bit. No, you was basically no, saying no, that. I said, I said that, you said you don't want women to spend their money. Yeah, but, but, be at McDonald's. That, that sounds like a broke no, bitch. No, listen, look, look. Job. No, yeah. listen. But what I but listen, what I'm saying is, so all right, let's say, uh let's just say I meet a woman, we'll just say her name's Amber, right? Sure. I meet her, whatever. She's not broke. She's doing, you know, whatever she likes. Sure. She Mm-hmm. photography she's a photographer sure. whatever course yeah. she's doing what she wants she's not broke but she's not providing like I, she's not coming in mm-hmm. i okay. might be like yo you put your money to the side invest in you know whatever i got friends to be like nah i ain't fucking with no a chicks man, that ain't got no a man if she can't you? do this i'm not fuck. i'm like because yeah, you know what happens not. you know what happens you tell a woman you know you know i'm gonna take care of everything you stack your money what happens is once they get a certain amount of money, they gonna leave your ass and fuck with a nigga like me. You know what I'm talking about? No, I'm just it's fucking possible. With you. It's possible. I don't want to hurt you. But if, you're, no, if, you, if a man allows me to put my money to the side, I'm going to make sure he feels good. And when I tell you, make sure he feels good. Well, I like that. I'm gonna take you to get a massage. I'm gonna take you to get your toes done. I'm gonna take you to do different things. I'm gonna take you to the J concert. If I'm putting my money to the side, I have enough money to spoil you. Yeah. Or she's a selfish bitch. Yeah. You don't think this is a coastal thing though too because no. I feel like a most a I lot of a lot of guys on the east coast do think how Mike 
talking. They don't want their woman to do nothing. I just never they want to provide. I just seen that growing up. Like my dad, my grandfather, all them, they just, it was, they ran, you know. And if oh, I had one, and, I, and I, I talk about this on my show, I had one relationship mm-hmm. where this chick made, I'm like, yo, this, I ne- I'll put it like this. I never was in a relationship, and I looked at the chick and was like, man, she really fucks with me. She really, I never felt like that until I met feeling, yeah. the girl about exactly. the coffee mug. Yeah. Yep. And so when that happened and when we didn't work out, I was like, my heart was broke, like, damn, I'm never going to get this again because yep. I never had it before, yep. except for that one chick. She would come in the house and we saw her, she's like, how was your day? I'm like, oh, it's cool. She's like, oh, let me suck your dick. I'm like, what? She's like, yeah. The same girl? Down. The coffee mug. Yeah. Oh, coffee and mug. And I'm like, what? She's like, sit down. I'm like, oh, shit. Do it. She's like, you know, okay, so. What you want to do? I'm like, I'm good now. Like, fuck, I don't. I forgot what the fuck happened. Yeah, then, you know what I'm saying. She was like, she like, I'm going to Atlanta for this hair convention, right? I'm like, okay, cool. She takes a picture down her. She got my face on her shirt with all my Instagram, my website, all that. Like, help you market. Her brother, she's like, yo, this is my 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 man. He's a comedian. He's out in L. A. He's trying to get on. Like, follow him. That's like, fire. she's. I didn't even ask. I would never even ask none of the chicks yeah. to ever mess with because they'd have probably been like, nigga, you crazy. She was like, what? That you're my man. What the fuck is you talking about? That. That's fire. It, that's what I want. Yeah. So yeah. however that makes me, whatever that looks like, whether it's Would you get hips, back with her? Fuck yeah, I want her back now. You you <laughs> know why? You know, I appreciate the honesty, too. That's some player shit. You might get her back for responding like that. Oh, mama, that's player shit. I love that motherfucker to death, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's just ain't right now ain't the time. But yeah, yeah no, nah, but that, and then it might never be the time. But it showed me what I won't she accept. She was real, yeah. After that. Like, having less. that, now I can't be with anything less well, than that. can I tell you something? You got exposed to that level. It's another level of butter. And that's why I said I didn't. I don't know. That's why I ain't argue with you. Cause some niggas would be just like, no, I know what I like. I ain't gonna say that. I'm yeah. gonna sit back and be like, you a woman, you I, and lose let me tell saying you it. I might be like, yo, I might see you in, in two months. Bro. Yeah, and you bro. gonna be me? We go, we ring hey, on. We don't. Don't leave me. <laughs> we're talking about you <laughs> had some raw with we, you. We had the improv. I'm like, yo, check it out. Like, uh, you you like, man, this is a gift for my lady, man. See, yeah. So you never know. I ain't never. You know what I'm saying? So. That's fly. Okay, that's fly. But let me tell you something. Go ahead. <laughs> she finna get some game. I like her. She dope. I'm. Thank you so much. I'm just saying, like, she's fly for that. Like, that's some real shit. But there's another level to that. Like, mm, it's another talk level about to it. that. There's a woman that'll pay for all your marketing and put it. Like, I'm just telling you. And you don't have to have a woman with money. But when you talk to a woman that, I have new money. So I don't want to act like I've been having money. I yeah. got new money. This is exciting for me. I got new <laughs> money, okay? So when you talk to a woman like me who was like, I feel like raised well. You know, my mom didn't let me do no bad shit. Like, I'm not, you know, yeah. I'm a good girl. I consider myself a good girl. When you tell a woman like me that you don't allow or you wouldn't want your woman to pay for nothing, I've been in a relationship where a man handicapped me. And What you mean by that? When, when a man handicaps you, he's like, come on, I got everything, don't worry about it. That's a very scary position for a woman. Makes you comfortable. It, it makes you comfortable, but it doesn't challenge you. You, there's no growth in that area. You shouldn't even do that to women. Yeah. Handicap them. Men should stop doing that to women. Putting them in their house cooped up and saying, I got everything. Mm-hmm. Because we aren't growing. We aren't learning. We aren't exposed to any. He's just like, you stay home. I got everything. Come back and have some dinner. So let me ask there's you this. no Bef- growth in that before stage. You go on, before you go on, do you think that the way you think now is uh, a modern way of thinking? And it's because the way that our grandparents or were raised is not the way society is now? No, the complete opposite. My grandfather put my grandmother up and she's still up and he's dead. So, like, she's good. No, I'm saying, like, I'm saying, you saying, like, a man taking care of everything handy. Back then, that, there was, that was looking that, out. You, but you, you, you know couldn't why do, that, The woman couldn't really. Exactly. She couldn't. So you think that exactly. now the way you're saying is like, well, we don't live in those towns no more. We got to change the way we think. Women only not, wanted that because they didn't know any other way. I had to marry a man in order to have a house and to provide. I wasn't allowed to work and have a wage. You couldn't have a bank account. You can't have anything. You couldn't drive. You couldn't couldn't drive. drive. You couldn't do anything. You had to stay home and be a woman. We've done that. It's over. It's done. And the women that still desire that, to me, they're lazy. They have no motivation and they don't understand what it means to seek your own desires in your life and to challenge yourself. I don't get up and hustle because I want a rich man. But now I'm in the room with rich men, so I could choose. Yeah. But I get up and hustle because it's my passion now. I'm hustling behind my passion. 
I'm not hustling because I have to. My money's good. My rent is paid. My bills are done. But I'm hustling because this is fun working on my own life. Mm -hmm. This is fun working on me, figuring me out. Yeah. What's not fun is a man putting you up and then you locked in the house, don't have nothing yeah. to do. Okay, cool, I got my... You, you get, babysitting you, his life. I'm babysitting You his don't life. have your own life. I'm a passenger no, I, on your plane. And I think, like, yep. with the girl that I was just telling you about, she, she worked in corporate America, but she did hair. Mm -hmm. And, um... She kept complaining, like, I don't like to hate this job. And I'm like, fuck that, quit. Then like, quit. I'm like, don't do this shit. And I yeah. was like always in her air. She was like, I'm so scared. I'm like, look, you got me. You ain't going to fall. Like, I'm not going to watch you fall. I'm not going to be this the, right there every time. I'll let you, you know, but I ain't going to let you just crash and burn. And she ended up quitting. And now she's doing what she loves. And she's getting better at it, building her clientele, all that stuff. And she always thanks me for that. But so it's like, if we were together, I wouldn't be like, nah, stay in the house. Because I ain't even having no, I got a vasectomy. I ain't even having no more kids. My daughter, 14. Once mm -hmm. the fuck she's done, that's it. You know what I mean? I'm, I don't want to. What we do, you know, you a sacrifice. You don't got kids. So mm -hmm. you might have something. You on a road. You filming, whatever. You gonna miss a lot of stuff. I don't want to do that no more. So oh, I'm no. like, I'm cool. I'm done. So I get with her. I'm like, yo, you ain't got to be in a house. Go do that, whatever. You know what I mean? And then I'm going to tell you something, too. What if she wanted to get back with you and have kids? Are you reversing your vasectomy? She don't because she almost died having her daughter. Mm. And so she was like... That was perfect then. Yeah, so when I got it, I got it for the girl that I just recently broke up with because I thought we were going to be together. I don't know why I thought that. But she didn't want to be... She didn't want kids either? No, nah, she didn't. So I, and in my mind, I was like, well... Even if I don't, if I get back, they both don't want so kids. So what about so, these girls um, say they don't want kids and then you see, you get on your Instagram and then you see the, one pregnant. of these girls pregnant? Oh, shit, what am I going to do about it? You know what I'm saying? You like, wouldn't feel like you got No, finesse? because I, 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 I didn't really want any more kids anyways. Are you a trick? No, what the fuck? Like, I'm asking. No, no. That's hey, a good no. question. No, no, no. I don't. I didn't I don't mean trick. to disrespect No, no, no. <laughs> I, no, when you said it, I wasn't thinking trick like, like <laughs> tricking like, like you trick at like a bitch trick. Like I was like, what? Like I was oh. thinking about it. Like oh, I got this trick on a st strip. Like I'm like, what? Oh like, no, no. We you talking about yeah, trick? Like, like, yeah, no. Yeah. But I, I caught it. You a trick? No. I was like, Keep what? It? No, no, no. There's tricks out there. You it's no. a community of tricks no. that you could be the face of. No, no. I'm gonna right, tell right. you. I'm gonna tell you why. Cause cause as soon as I feel like you trying to play me, uh -huh. like Fifty Cent did an interview and he said, I'm with spending money. I like spending money. Yeah. But if I feel like you like, yeah, could you buy me? Nah. Cause now you think. Let me just do it. Let you just be chilling. And then, you know what I mean? Like, with that girl that was saying, the first time we did it, when I woke up, she got up. She's folding my laundry and shit, straightening up the house. I was like, yeah, where, you, where you want to? Uh, Aries. Oh, I'm going to fold your clothes. And she was show. like, well, she's like, I was like, what do you want to do? Like, it was just, you know, all she was doing all the right shit. It wasn't yeah. like, y'all got to spend money to make her like me. Right. It was different. But, right. nah, so, you know, um, no, nah, I don't trick at all. Like, okay. I, and you know why I learned a hard lesson from that? Mm -hmm. I used to lead with that sometimes. If I seen a chick that I was like, if I saw you, right, and I'm like, oh, she ain't, yo, well, we can go to Mastro's, wherever you want. I'm leading right with the bag. Yep. And chicks who's about something to be like, nigga, I don't, that don't impress me. Right. And I'd be like, fuck. Yeah, this that ain't don't a bitch from the project. Yeah, Mastro's on the week. <laughs> yeah, so I, I, I did that. Some chick was like, nigga, you think that that's going to make me want to go out with you? Right. Da, da, da. What, what are you, what's like, your okay. goals? What are you, this, that? And then I had to start being like, oh, uh, no, nah, let me tell you about myself. Yeah. But about then, she was like, fuck. And then I learned a lesson like, yo, don't do that. Because whatever you lead with, is what is, you gotta keep for doing. You gotta keep That's doing that. That's my whole yeah. point. Mm -hmm. So if you leading with game, you can maintain because mm -hmm. you don't run out of game if you got game. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> but you can run out of some paint. You can run. You know what I'm you saying? You can run out of some cheese every blue moon. And you be like, hold on, this is, I can't wait to see you in a serious. You need to slow down a little bit. Hold on, I need to bounce back real fast. And that's and then they'll be looking at you like, huh, and they be out. Y'all, man, we about to get the show going, man. For y'all, man, y'all ready to see y'all start for the night? Y'all get it clapping right now, man. Y'all start clapping it up, man. Straight out of the Bay Area, man. Y'all seen them on MTV. Y'all keep it going right now for the Unbalanced Tour for my dog, straight out of Oakland, Lewis Have you ever been in a serious relationship? Yeah. Committed. Yeah. I'm a good guy. Yeah. I'm a good guy. Yeah. But that's what would make me be in a committed relationship. You? Is a woman that I, I respect and I value. <laughs> Not because you you got a fat ass or I'm come on, man. I'm spoiled with 
I'm spoiled with that, baby. I'm talking about. <laughs> but you, but yeah. you know what the stuff you talking about though is is very rare, especially out here. Yeah. Because everyone's out here chasing the dream. Yeah. The dudes out here have a you know, I mean everybody in the industry has that dream, but then the women who aren't in the industry, they just want somebody in. That's their dream is. Just to be a part exactly. of the industry. So it's a lot of women out here whose dream is to be a passenger on a male's plane who's yes. a, the pilot. You know yes. what I'm saying? Like follow this man around, do everything he says, a part of his life. Like, that's so sad to me. Like That's why I like my Bay Area women. They yeah. get their money. They cause I'm getting they, my money. They cultivate How long been in LA? to know that. I've been in LA for a year, but I've lived here prior. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. But this isn't my home. Hey, Lewis, tell me if you remember this, because I was thinking about this in the car. Mm -hmm. You remember the first time we met? I know it was at the Improv, right? No, so uh, so when I tell you this, you're really going to laugh. And I got the video on my phone. Uh -huh. You and Teddy, rest in peace, was doing the last OG show right before COVID. Mm -hmm. And he said, niggas be hat fishing chicks. He's like, if you got a hat on, niggas got a bald head. Ooh. Now, I'm a comedian, That's so I knew shit. I can throw him the oop to... And I looked at him and like he was like, "What you got a ball head?" And I took it off. And he was like, "Ah!" Oh, and he came out to the audience. We on the film and shit. He's like, "Oh, it was funny, but it was I like." Remember that? And I still got that like, "Yo, this it was the first. It was right. That was the last show before like Damn, COVID a week I later." That, 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 that's that's crazy. Real. That was me. And I was yeah. like, he was like, "He's like, you got to take you off your hat." But I knew like, "Yo, this is gonna make the joke." Make it Cause better. I'm like, somebody else would have been just like trying to turn their head. Like I don't want him to call him. I'm like, nah. You know pick who had fished me? Hat me? You know what I mean? You know the dude from he didn't hat fish me, but watching the show Who? from Wildin' Out. Who? Chico Bean. <sighs> With the we got the braids? That start back here? He did that during COVID as like like playing around. He cut his hair? No, yeah, he always had a ball head and a beard. And then he start COVID happened and nobody could get haircut, so it shit started growing. But Man, he had like a little I never piece seen right him here. A hat on. And Takar used to be joking with him because he had like a little piece like right here. And it would hang from the hat. Yeah, and she would say something. He was like, fuck it, I'm not cutting the hair. Now I'm just going to keep it like that because y'all talking shit. So he did it as a joke. Well, he needed to unjoke it. <laughs> that shit scared me when he took his fucking hat off. He he know that though. His shit started it. back here. Yeah, he's being it's, it's like a joke, like a run, like that's not funny. Like a two year, it two is year funny. joke. It's, it's funny. very funny. You got to think about it. You remember that? Yeah, that's marketing. And you, I knew who you was talking about without you even saying it. Yep, me he too. He did a special with DC Young Fly, right? Yeah, the eighty five South, 85 South, South, South. South. Him, uh, Carlos, and DC. Shout out the whole squad, yeah, man. Shout out them out. They doing big things, though. Family business, He got to shave that. He wouldn't be bad if he shaved it, but that shit threw me for a loop. I paused the TV but and stopped. Yeah. You got to think about it. We go through that all the time is men looking at women being traumatized. What, taking off the bra? The all type of shit. Everything. Lashes, wigs. You be like, yo, what the fuck is this? You don't got weaving, so, you, I mean, do you wear it at all? We ain't finna bash women that get weaves. I love no, I like, women that I, like, get weaves. I like how weaves smell. A woman that get we that got weaves, it's that's like, how you know what? she got some money. You know where stuff like people like how matches or gasoline smells? I like how weave smells, like the cheap shit. That's, that's some light skin shit to say. <laughs> <laughs> I like how weave smell. I've never heard a man say that. Like how I always hear like that shit smells so the, nasty on my pillow when she get up. Fucking, um, the, tss, the, 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 the curling iron on that motherfucker. It brings comfort. <sighs> Bruh. Y'all pissed me. It I brings like comfort. Shit. Like, oh, okay. Let us she pray. She a real one. I'm going to tell you, I had, so during COVID, um, and this is why me and that girl end up breaking up and I, I fucked up, but I got a friend that he lives out here. He wants you back, baby. Oh, she knows. Ooh, I did some wild shit when I was just home back, a couple weeks baby. ago. Like, see what you should do. Not no wild shit, but just like, I'm, I'm a, I am don't take no for an answer type thing. And she's a barber, so I just booked an appointment to get my beard done because I, I did a show uh, in Philly uh, in the jail. And I was like, I need to get my beard done. I didn't because I'm going to go be around a bunch of locked up niggas. So I don't need yeah. my shit done. But I booked an appointment. Yeah, she don't called, go to jail looking she, too cute. She, yeah, she texts me next day like, you're fuck. I'm canceling your appointment. You're, I told you I'm talking to someone. I'm like, nigga, I'm just coming to get my beard done. Da, da, da. I really just needed to see her. Like, I have to see her. So and this is the only way. So I'll pay. Damn. Them. Yeah, nice and I went out, yeah, she was like, and when it got there, the conversation was cool. But no, so what happened was. I got a friend that lives out here. She does lace fronts and stuff like does hair. And me and her is not like that at all. But that girl don't know that. She don't know. Like that our relationship is strictly platonic. So during the pandemic. That was a good ass like, word. Right before the, the, the pandemic, her and her dude got into it. He kicked her out because he's thinking me and her is fucking because mm -hmm. we so cool. Yeah. So she goes to get an apartment. They stop all the showings, everything because of COVID. So she's like, I don't got nowhere to go. Uh, can I stay with you? Stop like, saying the C word before you get us banned. Uh, the, 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 you know, the uh, dive flu. Yeah. So, the so flu she's flu. like, you know, can I just 
crashed there for like two or three days talking mm-hmm. to I'm like, yeah, cool. So the girl ended up finding out, like I wasn't trying to be keeping it a secret, but she called my daughter, answered the phone, she heard a girl in the background, just a mess. So that's what ended us, right? See, you played that wrong, though. You I was that, sleep. You should have played off that. No, I was asleep. Like, she called. I'm bitch, you can't come over here because you ain't got nowhere to go. That's that broke bitch shit. But no, but this is like, a, I looked at it like you this. You lost a good woman I, fucking with a broke uh, bitch. Listen, I'm a kid. No, she ain't even broke, but they just stopped I, showing apartments. I know apartments. that was mean. I love everybody. They stopped showing apartments because of, of the joint. So she couldn't even go, you know what I mean? So, Take your ass where you from. So look, I should have done that. So anyways, that Book I, an Airbnb I, I, I lose this shit, right? I'm, I'm whatever, but she's she's staying there you know mm-hmm. what I mean then it ended up just once I lost the girl I'm like well, I ain't no rush now you can so just, you done you know lost your for show for some more no nah, this ain't even this a friend you know what I mean but I looked at it like if you was my mans like that and you like bro I ain't gonna want to stay I'm not gonna let you be out and, yeah come on bro crash on why the couch why does she feel comfortable enough to ask you to stay at your house that's homie. what she thinking that's so let hum- me ask the question she thinking cause she's my like we like no you can't be that she owe you some pussy no nah, she <laughs> I don't want the pussy we ain't like that it ain't like that at all, all right. she but, should never feel comfortable I don't care no. maybe listen I fucked up I ain't even gonna sit and be like I fucked up nigga so I ain't even arguing with you I should have been like hey but you can't come here Cause I'm gonna tell you, and, and, and this is, and I gotta be honest for everybody listening. I know you got the big phone. I, what I said was the worst. I regret it to this day. Like she, she called me and was like, "What the fuck, you da da da, bitch, can't stay there, blah blah." And I remember telling this girl that we we weren't technically together until she came to L.A., which was like in a couple months from then. You and she was up. like, "Da da da, this da da." And I was like, "You can't. You're not even technically my girlfriend." Like I, I said it out of pride, like an ego thing. Yeah. Like who the fuck you talking to? Not because I really felt like that, but I was like, "What?" Like, who are you talking to? Like, Ego, you, you felt like you had to say that. Sort of God. And then I instantly, she was like, what? Bet. And I was like, huh, yeah, you heard me. Like, just double down. Inside, my conscience was like, yeah, what are you bitch ass better say sorry. But I just was like, I stood on it. And I'll regret that to this day. But anyways, I we make a lot of As men, we make up. a lot of mistakes. But what I, I was saying all that this, I'll she does that. hair. So I I'll learned, like, I see her doing it, the, all her clients' hair. Now when I get with chicks, I'm like, oh, that's fucked up. Because you know how to do it, yeah, right? Yeah. I don't know how to do it, but I know what it should look you like. I'm like, why is that shit? No, that's I used, how I you used the wrong color. Too. And they're like, is you gay? I'm like, nah, my homegirl nah. do That netting shouldn't be showing yeah, like that. They I, used the wrong color. You're right. It's hard for me. To, I look at women and like, I your weave is bad. I wish more men knew because more women would fix their stuff. Like, I be looking at the TV and I'm like, how do you think we don't see that? That shit look crazy. I'm like, that's not an invisible part. Like, what the fuck is that? The ones that look good <laughs> look great. But the ones that look stupid and smell burnt. No, I can't. That's that's what I can't I just would rather just burn my real hair and wash it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not about to keep putting that shit in my hair smelling like... Just all kind of chemicals and Hot dog water. Oh, that's crazy. That's what it smells like to me. Especially when they wash it. It stinks more. Christina, how you feel about when dudes go through a female phone? I seen your video. That's off. That's off. That's out. We're not doing that. Immediately, I don't want to be with you no more. I don't care what you saw. I got the, the worst shit ever why? happened to me like Because that. why are you going through my shit? You shouldn't go through my phone, and I know if I go through your shit right now, it's going to be hot. How how do you feel about women going through men's I'm not phone? doing that. And women that do do that don't have a life of their own. You're desperate. You're I boring. Ain't no, I had some boss bitches run through my phone. That's, that's not, <laughs> she wasn't a boss bitch if she went through your phone. Mentally, yeah, she wasn't on no boss no, shit. No, she yeah. might have had some money in a nice car. Yeah. She was not a boss-ass woman if she went through your phone. I'm not going through your phone. So I don't care if it's laying there on the table. What makes, what, let's give a round of applause for that, y'all. Hold on. I seen a video you posted. Tell me, let's rewind. I seen a video you posted, and you said you used to do that. I was... Oh, okay, Mike. Yeah, she's, you're right. She was I like, was I, she didn't say that. I'm a grown. That was ten years ago, almost ten years ago. Let me not put no one was on my age. <laughs> it was a long time ago. I was a child. If I was in the relationship that I was in when that all happened, today as this woman I'm sitting here as, mm-hmm. no way in hell would he would he would have never li- left me. I would have never allowed it. I, I left him, to be honest with you. But no, 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 no. I left He him. left your ass. No, you said it first. <laughs> no, I'm saying. I hate when women say no, no, no. they never got left. I never got left. I've only been with one man. I've never got left. Never in my life. I've, got, I've never got left. He would take me back right now if I called. I'll put it on speaker. You want to bet? Call I, that I nigga right now. I ain't called him in 15. I ain't called him in 
in months. Don't tell, don't do that because don't tell me to edit it out. Don't, yesterday was my don't, birthday. Don't fucking have see. Lewis go have you down a path again that you now you didn't get real back in and shit because Lewis didn't hype you up. It's no chance in hell. It's no chance I would ever get back with this man. No chance in hell I would get back with him. But if you want me to push the button, I'll push the button. He'll answer the phone right now and ask me if I need anything. No, don't do that. Okay, but I'm letting you know see, I would. Mike a good nigga. So don't do what that. I'm saying, my point in saying I'm not trying to I'm not trying to flex my strong arm or anything. But what I, my point in saying see, that that's, is, see that's how women manipulate niggas though. I'll do it right now. I'll do it right now. And then yeah. nigga be like, oh, don't you know, you don't got to do it, I don't give a fuck, no, but I, I do didn't know this. But I, you're right, though. But I did say that I went through his phone, and I caused myself the pain that I was going through. The yeah. misery that I kept living over, and he's out having fun, enjoying his days, cheating on me, and I'm going through his phone, <laughs> watching the whole thing, miserable, crying. He was never Playing Mary in the, J. Blige in the background. <laughs> listen, he was Hell never in Cole the, in the back. <laughs> I, I told him this recently because we had a conversation within the last six months. Mm -hmm. I told him that... Um, I don't think we experienced our relationship ever on the same level. I was in pain. I was hurting because I How much kept older than him? How much older was he than you? Um 7 years. See, I knew that he was older than her. He was without older. Even asking. Why? He was older. Because she I don't think all dudes do this, but some dudes they get younger it's because they can manipulate them like that. Yeah. Now, I, okay. I hear, people saying, I hear people saying, oh, all men who want to get younger women want to do it to me. That's not the case. Some people just be like, I just want a newer model. But some dudes who ain't, most, they ain't, they ain't on it like that, they be like, I could spend shorty. She's that young. Was, and he had you going through the phone going crazy. He out living his life. And I knew I was going to be there when he got back. Ex and that's how I knew he was older than you just by you saying that. Oh, yeah. And that's the one that say, keep in the house. Don't worry about working. Don't worry about this. That's because I'm paying you to, to shut, shut the, the fuck, fuck up. up. Yeah. Facts. <laughs> I don't pay women to shut up. When I say, hey, baby, be quiet. Well, host, one second. They're going to be quiet regardless. You know what I'm talking about? You ain't got to pay. You just got to have that ism. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, man, that shit come free what if you, you a pee. I say it. Yeah. Yeah. You know yeah. yeah, God damn it, G. <laughs> oh, it's the Kelly kickback at this motherfucker, man. You done got me started around this motherfucker, man. <laughs> no, if you could do it, I say do it. But mm -hmm. a lot of men don't even have the confidence to say the shit you be saying. So if you could do it and bitch, you getting away with it, I love that for you. But me, you ain't doing it. I never understood pimping how it works. I'll be like, I don't He's have not a fucking pimp. I'm not a pimp. No, I'm just saying, no, I'm games. just saying that in general, like. Yeah, but I know what he's talking like, about. Bitch, I go out there and make my, yes, daddy. He's like, well, yeah. nigga, what the fuck is wrong with you? And I'm you? Like, like, you just I went never... and bruised your knees up and then turned your money into this man, but he's going to pay my rent later. But you could have paid your rent three threefold. Yeah, I, I, yeah I, but I that's never... how. That's don't all. try to explain pimping like, and like pimp, to me. Like, I'm going to tell you. I don't right. want to hear pimping. I'm just that don't shit. Don't try to give me no damn. Pimping and, and gangs, real gangs, like out here, Chicago, like places where it's, yeah. I never understood the, like, and I ain't even knocking it, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't want no trouble, but where I come from is neither one of those. Mm -hmm. So under, that's like trying to understand like Italian culture and you yep. black or you speak yep. like I don't know what, why they eating all that food like yeah. that every day they big as hell you just never understand it because it's just how <laughs> but see where I'm from in the, like Bay Area we think I don't we don't understand tricking we just really don't yeah y'all like, don't because y'all be getting paid it's the op that's the it's complete opposite of the not everyone there it's everybody's yeah. opposite but yeah. your opposite culture in the know. Bay is that's the opposite yeah. you know what I'm saying so if you see somebody fat in Africa you be like what the fuck like this ain't how we over here. Like, what the fuck you been doing? I interviewed doing? Too Short, and I told him, what did he think about me telling, like, men to pick a bill? Like, if you want to deal with me, pick a bill. And he was like... Some pimp shit. He was like, you sound like me. In the yeah. <laughs> I was like, what? You was telling women? He's like, hell yeah. Women was... I was spoiled. I was like, what? Yeah. yeah Todd. Yeah, it's a cultural thing. So it's just... It's a cult, like, like yeah. gangs out here, you can't... I met a girl out here, and we was talking, and she was like, yeah, uh... This little boy, her daughter was like 12 or something, 13 mm -hmm. maybe. I guess the little boy was picking on her at school. She was like, yeah, I sent the niggas from the, from the set down there. I'm like, the what? What was she talking about? She was mm -hmm. like, yeah, I sent the homies from the set down there to fuck young cuz up. I was like, yo, where you from? She was like, nigga, neighborhood. I was like, I'm mm. out. I'm out. This is this yeah. ain't. See, I had. To, I ain't fucking no crib coochie. This is crazy. I ain't yeah. got that in me, dog. Like, <laughs> I can't, you know what I'm saying? Like, crib I, cannot, coochie. I can't be. You can't be gang like Whoa. I just can't do it. You know what I'm saying? But that's their like she was older too. She was like f like 42, 43, and she, this is they all. That's all they know. So yep. like you try to be like yo, what? That's stupid. You gonna die for this? They're like hell yeah. Like to them, you talking crazy if you say anything that's against. That's all they know. And I, I just don't get it because it's not where I'm from. Yeah, it's a culture thing for sure. Because because you don't you don't gotta be. <laughs> 
gang. You don't got to be a gang banger, but you're gonna be gang affiliated yeah. if you're from a certain area in L. A. Yeah, you just sleep like with the wrong woman. No, I'm just saying, if you from L.A., mm. the culture is so strong out here with L.A., the real L.A., where it's like, you're going to be gang affiliated. So you could be a person that's not a gang member, but you're a gang affiliated because one of your friends or one of your cousins or one of your uncles, somebody's a gang a member. Gang you're movie. gang affiliated. Oh, I'm going to tell my uncle. So Bay Area, oh. you don't have to be a pimp. You're not a pimp, but you around some pimp shit. All the time. So it's Nine like- times out of ten or some Shit, you like, not pimp even pimp. residue on you, like yeah, you know it's some like, nigga, some pimp water hand. coming, nigga, the water in the bay. You getting that's the type you get, of you get contact high from the pimp is clear pimp <laughs> shit in the water. Oh my god! If you go by the water, you gonna get some of that. You know, stand me on you. The mist gonna hit. The way they talk, the way they even if you ain't actively, you're yeah, you still it's like an aura. Like oh, I got that. This is my what I grew up on. E forty is a married man, but he still. A motherfucking player. Yeah, he is a nigga. I'm coming through with my wife like a real Mac. Yeah, we gonna sit down and watch Curry and him. I'm talking about, yeah, that's how married men talking about. My daddy married, nigga. Mom, they together. My mom and dad is together. But my dad ain't, hi, how you doing? Go, this is my wife. No, nigga, I'm, yeah, stand me. I'm with wifey right now. You know what I'm talking about? I got a little Lou in the back, nigga. Yeah, this, this is how we fuck with it where I'm from. Wow. If you ain't, f- I, I, I don't understand either. Take me to like the bay. Take you know a little man? trip. Man, you already got it in you. You know what I'm talking about? We got to keep you away from that motherfucker. You be fucking around. Get the pimping whole all book. these niggas yeah. if you get some more oh, game. I would love that. How many times a day you get called to pick me? A lot. I see it all the time. A lot. <laughs> no, yeah, a lot. I like that shit, though. I'm a pick me. I'm a pick me. Pick me for sure. Oh, over mm, and over again. Is. I keep Am I pick me? me? Shit, pick me. Feel free I'm a, to pick me. I'm going to be please. honest, man. I I try to, like, when I Ready do my show, I try to always stay away from them, those conversations. I feel like they're just divisive and they're not benefiting, like, us oh, as like a, a people at them. all. You know, like, I had my opinion on certain things, but after a while, it's like, yo, every time you get on Spirit World or Che Room or Ball Alert, it's like, oh, men say what do you don't like about women like yo it's only niggas talking about this this ain't white people in the comments like yeah i told frank like it's it's just us yeah you're just right. tearing the fucking each other down you're right. and it's and and we way stronger together than we are apart mm-hmm. and until you realize that shit so i just be like i have my opinions and i might see something i disagree with but instead of contributing to the nonsense i just shut the fuck up mm-hmm. and Listen, just keep it rolling I but i'll be you. on your page and i'll be like these motherfuckers is trying to grind this motherfucking girl up because she is saying what a lot of men think I hear or feel, you, and but I like, don't feel you with the stronger together thing. I know the overall gist of what you were saying, but I'm tired of black people not holding ourselves within it, you know, each other accountable for the bullshit we do. Oh, that's a part. So, I'm just talking about as a, like, us as you say like, men? I'm saying men and women. Yeah. yeah we, I think there's a lot that. of shit that women to wom- woman to woman, it's a lot of things that you won't hold your best friend accountable for, but you'll go cry to a nigga about. And then it's a lot of things that men don't hold each other account about, account- accountable about. Mm-hmm. You'll lose your whole wife sleeping with a bird and your homie never checked you on that. Did you see that? Because right. you're the popular, you're the popular guy. You see so that your homeboy, most? give me a second. Your homeboy, no, no disrespect, but your homeboy no, won't no, let you bad. go. Your your homeboy literally will. You the one with money, right? So all you you look, we call them Flunkies. the professional homeboys. So the <laughs> professional homeboys are down for the ride, and they'll watch you cheat on the woman that you scream up and down the street that you love, and nobody's holding them accountable. And the same thing for women. Y'all think women don't cheat. They out here cheating. I'm, and the women are not holding each other accountable. Y'all get y'all stories together tight. Like. They do, but that's <laughs> not what we should be doing. No, we should God, say, no. you said women, you love so when women, So when women cheat on their guy and the girls know, how do that go about? One more time. Like, so when a female's cheating on her guy, right? How do they, like, as a, as friends? They're all birds. So they're all allowing bird shit to happen. My friends know either hide it from me or don't tell me. Because you're not going to come to my doorstep and tell me you're sleeping with a married man and I'm about to caress your feelings on that. You're a bird and you're acting like a bird. Like, and you need to be held accountable in order to be pulled up. I, I really think our community doesn't hold each other accountable. No, I agree That's with that. true, because I feel you about the guys. Like, you're going to watch. I watch all these men, like, like I don't want to say his name because he's on my album. So let me just skip that one. Yeah, Ugh. don't do it. But, but, but another, let's say another guy. Um, who's somebody in the media right now, like, being crucified for being cheated on? 
for being cheated on, or for cheating on his on his woman or his wife. Sure, that's every nigga. Talk. Okay, him. Where are your friends at? Where are your friends at, Tristan? Tristan, you're cheating on Khloe Kardashian. This is one of the highest level celebrities there she are. She ain't shit. You say you that. You can cheat on her. As long as you keep getting some money, you'll be all right. No, nigga. he's being funny, but you could say that all you want. But the reality of it is, she has status. Whether And, he, and she has All for niggas that get money. So long as you it keep getting that money. It doesn't matter how she has it. Everybody want to talk about how Kim got rich and how they. Doesn't matter. She is where she is because she so. is where she is. That's true. Right. It don't matter how she got there or who's. Got, yeah. Yeah. She's there. Mm -hmm. So my point in saying that is if you decided to get a woman like that pregnant, not once but twice, you need to get your shit together. You need to have some friends around you that, hey, at, if I was a man, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to have four buddies, right? Mm -hmm. Bring these specific hoes over they come with you get in the car with him then y'all pull up to this house we know don't bring no phones in this house like have your shit together so yeah. let me ask you this y'all cheating terrible do you think there's a different standard for people in that kind of in that profession or like cause cause a regular person you know R Rick and Jane that just can't go cheat and nobody will know no not even that it's just like I think that and this might sound crazy I think that when you were in that limelight you're an athlete rapper all that 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 extra pussy be coming with the territory. Like I That's feel like it's a different. Like I feel like celebs don't have the same it's not standard just, it's not as just like celebs. regular Joe Schmo on. A, you know what I mean? Like they say, rich man. You know, cheating is a rich man sport. It is. So you can't be broke and then be cheating on your wife. You work down at the goddamn. But if you're the, gonna the be somebody company. like Tristan cheating on somebody like Chloe, you should have your affairs so together that Chloe never finds out. Ever. At least if Chloe found out, the whole world didn't find out. But I'm going to tell you why she found cheating. out. Because he don't give a fuck about her. That's what I'm saying. There's just I some white that. hoes and that. That's niggas that got some money. I'm, I'm who I am. And this is who I'm fucking with. I'm doing whatever the fuck no, I want to do. I, if you if you date a Kardashian, you don't want to be held accountable. We didn't get these bitches to, to be here or nothing. Listen, Luke, I love I agree everybody. With you. I agree with both of you. You get a black woman if you want to be held uh, fucking accountable not or maybe you're not gonna get no hollywood broad to be Listen, told he, what to do he knew that he could finesse that a little bit but the problem is if he was smart if he had good friends around him mm -hmm. he wouldn't have fucked up his own career cheating on somebody like the kardashians when you know every time you do one of the kardashians wrong your whole image goes to shit nobody fucks with tristan thomas anymore I don't even know if I'm saying his name right. Shit, the sister, the sister's you know what I'm friend. Is. Yeah, because I ain't seen Chris Humphreys. Chris Humphreys. Yeah, well, where did he go? That's what I'm saying. But he was if a bum ass get... nigga from the jump, though. It was. That's, but that, that, he wasn't really like he was lucky to get like he wasn't Tristan. Like Chloe came up off of Tristan. Chris came up off of. Hell Chloe no! That nigga signed the most. That nigga signed the big Chloe, ass contract. I apologize. Hey, Chris Humphreys. That's what I'm saying. He wasn't. He How wasn't, do you think he married Kim? He, he had was, money. But he wasn't. It, when you looked at the two, he wasn't the bigger name I'm of the sorry, two. I'm sorry, wait, fuck that. Did you just say that Chloe came up off of Tristan? No, I'm saying like her being with Tristan made her look better than him being with her. No, it crazy? never yeah. make a you nigga look so? good when you fuck with them bros. You, th you think that when he got with her, they was like, oh, you got Chloe? To square niggas, yeah, but not no real player ass niggas, no. That's what I'm saying. So no one, no one seen that he got with her and was like, "Oh, nigga, yeah." Chloe had her own nah. clout, and Tristan had a little bit of his own too. When he got with them, he knew what he was doing. He was pulling I, himself up to a whole new audience. That might have been okay. That might have been equal, but there was no, no, definitely listen, no. Let me he didn't break it come down to you. Being with her, let like, me break it down to you, Mike. We don't know basketball, so you knew them niggas. We didn't know them niggas. Mm. Everybody knows the Kardashians for the most part. Uh -huh. We're familiar with the name. We're familiar with the game, right? Off of basketball players, though. It doesn't matter how they got there. Even you her sister was like, here goes... Uh, how you gonna say we don't know basketball? The, we they they, they got a fucking Hall of Fame star five and niggas they fuck. That's crazy, nigga. They're lined up crazy. You could, go to, you could go to middle school and <laughs> high school. They were 15. Sort of gone 92. They're going crazy. Go ahead, Christine. You could go to middle schools and high schools and anything in between different countries and ask, do you know who Tristan Thomas is? They're gonna be like, who the fuck is that? You yeah. can go, and if they do say, oh, Chloe's baby daddy, but you could go to... High schools, middle schools, different countries. By, by the way, you guys, I'm lisping because I just got my teeth done. Oh, pop your shit. So okay, yes. It'll be done <laughs> tomorrow, but I don't have a lisp normal. But mm -hmm. if you go to those other places and you ask who are the Kardashians, they'll tell you. Kids, young kids. We don't know who Tristan. I didn't know who the fuck that was until she got with him. He, She pulled That's his name NBA up. That's an NBA champion. She with, pulled yeah. his name up. Well, regardless no, of who no, he is. No, no, we ain't doing that. He is an NBA champion. He signed a $300 million contract and knocked 
How her. Much? How much? Three hundred million, damn near. That nigga had made hell of money. I, I've never heard of his name before. Because you, you got on his radar, you start paying attention when he start fucking with him. But yeah. they know who he, who he is. Was. Yeah, because yeah. that's why that's why they messing with him. But, yeah. but, but we're talking. And Chris Humphreys too. That nigga had a big ass. They fuck with niggas that get rebounds. All the niggas that get rebounds and get a big contract. Look, because rebound not, niggas don't get bitches I'm not, until I'm they not get their money. Fan. I'm not nothing. I'm very. I don't want to make it seem like I'm. I don't even. I've never even watched their show. I'm just saying they know who we all know who that is, and we all don't necessarily know who that is. What I'm saying know. is, if he would have got with Kim, they would have been like, "Oh, that nigga bad Kim." Yeah. He got with Chloe. They was like. Nigga, she's the ugly one. It the got a lot of work done. Both here, ah! like, they was like, nigga, what are the you doing, bro? The fact that y'all bro? are both sitting here like y'all wouldn't fuck Chloe is crazy. Fucking her I and wife and her is two different things. If she wanted you and said, Mike, you're the one I want, you gonna wife Chloe. No, I don't no. date yes, outside you are. my race. Lie. I don't date nothing but Lie. black women. I swear to God, I ain't never. I, I only fucked one white girl my whole entire See, life, and the rest of black. Is out here make you feel that way. you're not going with Chloe. I'm a knocker and I'm a get everything I and need then to get out of her. And she calls you back the next day and like let's fly to Japan. Then the next day let's fly to Egypt. I'm key. I'm a key going. I'm a key finessing her. And ass. now you're out in the public with her and they say Lou is now Chloe Kardashian's girlfriend. You and then guess what? No, no, no. Lou gonna, no, be, no. gonna be a poppy with D right you're next weekend that with that bitches. Up, <laughs> huh? You're not clearing that up. What the fuck you mean? I clearing what up? If, Saying if, like clearing up the, the rumors. Like no, that ain't my bro. You just let it go. Lou and Chloe are now official. On the on the behalf of my family and where I come from, I'm gonna say something. No, you're not. Like I got a Next mama episode, out here. Lie detector I got sisters that I represent. Next episode, Listen, all I ain't got to lie to you. I I what I'm saying is, I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna run a play, and I'm gonna run it through my people, and they gonna know what it is. I can let the world think whatever the fuck they want to think, like but I don't know mom, how my mama want to fuck like with it. My sisters. I feel like your mom would be like, "Hey, rock with it for a minute." I don't know. My mama don't play that shit. See, we on some Hollywood shit. My mama I don't can't, fuck I just around like with that. a woman that I'm not attracted to like that or have no. She's a beautiful. Woman. See, I She's can not, do it. I can do it for the money. I can't. I mean, I might get a. Couple, I call her little ugly ass cute a, all a day. Couple little something, but I can't. One be, million dollars. I can't be Stepman, dog. You gonna fuck around and your podcast gonna be deleted from the internet? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I didn't become a comedian and become this public to figure be to be, be to, to be, be publicly yeah. accepted by everybody. I feel that. I love everybody. But I don't give a fuck. You love everybody, but it's not Chloe. No, I love Chloe. I I'm love saying, everybody. I'm not saying she's a bad person. I'm just saying. Y'all would both knock. No, no we just I ain't trying to talk about this worse. Hollywood shit. I fuck way worse than her, but I'm but, saying, like, being with... Wait, you're not about to just say that and act like you didn't just say that. <laughs> I, don't, I mean, I'll keep it on and Pussy is not... For us, it's not the same. Y'all don't, have, y'all don't have a, like, a list. Like, if she don't meet these criteria, I'm fuck, not hitting. Fuck. Just to fuck. Just to hit. Nigga, if the lights come on and it's... Three strikes. I'm like, shit. Where's it at? Let's let's see the one. <laughs> she look easy. Yo, what's up with you, beautiful? Oh, I'm just chilling. What you doing after this? Look something to eat. This I gotta. I'm I'm winning. I can't go tonight without without busting. I'm not gonna be like, oh, what kind of car you drive? No, nah, bet you coming with me. Jump in. Yo, well, I'll take you to your car in the morning. Like fuck that. Come on. Like I don't care. I don't need you. And you pull me. up. It got two boots on it. You paying to get it off? Fuck no. I'm dropping her off and be like, yo, you better call your dad or some shit. Now that nigga getting his ism. I ain't fucking doing all that. I did our shit was an equal exchange. In the beginning of this episode, he'd pay for the boot. No, no, no. If, he if would I pay like, for the boot. No, if, the I really, the if, if, if I saw him was like, this is the I think she's it, I might give her one he boot. He was gonna pay for the boot. I might pay for one boot, you know what I'm saying? You got her the boots. <laughs> I ain't getting her the set. You know? knock the boots off. Knock the boots. I ain't getting her the off. pair, but you know what I mean? No, nah, but I definitely crack worse than Chloe, but that's just a crack. That's different than yeah. being like, um, I ain't no, nah, you know what? I, I'm, I'm I can't sell my soul for no money. I can't. I couldn't yeah, I be can't with do it. it either. I can't. Not I'm for the saying money. this shit because I'm saying trying to sound cool on some player shit, and I'm really in the moment enjoying my suckers. It's not reality, <laughs> but in the reality situation, I wouldn't do it because I know who I am and I know what I'm worth and I know where I come from and I know what if I. If it value. was just about the that's money, like selling no. my soul in a sense. If it was just you fucking the money, with, no. I a bunk you. ass Kardashian because she got some paint. Now he might have liked her. He might have kicked it. You know, because sometimes you see something that ain't really that popping. And then you talk to her like, oh, she kind of cool. And then you kind of fall a little exactly. That's, how I feel about That's different. But just to be like, oh, shit, I'm about to be in the circle. Hell no. Nah. They be ruining niggas. Look at Kanye. Yeah. That nigga butt naked in a uh, paddle boat in Italy or some shit getting sucked off by some uh, Bond villain's wife looking <laughs> shit, dog. Like, shit crazy. Like, he lost his goddamn mind. I'm like, did that happen? Yeah, he was in a boat getting, getting, getting brain from That's his, his wife. But... She looked like a, a a villain in a bomb movie. Like she looked crazy. She looked like uh she looked like what's his name? Um, the dude that uh that beat up the killed Apollo, his wife. 
Mm. Um, That's what she looked like. Ivan Drago's wife in 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 the Creed. <laughs> See, because I That's feel what like Kanye's wife look like now. Ivan Drago's wife. I feel like the Creed. part where you missing is that we thinking about the aftermath and not the beginning. The beginning looks great. The upside of it, the, the start of it, looked great, but. They, it's a lot of athletes that's been involved, and we know who these men are before they start fucking with the bras. Mm -hmm. Like Reggie Bush Reggie was Bush. A, a legend, like already. Ray J, Bow, you feel uh, me? Not Bow Wow. Wait, Bow Wow cracked too. It's right? so many niggas. We gonna have to. Uh, Bow Wow hit Sierra. I don't know if it was Kim K. I, I think he might hit Kim K too. He probably hit too. But what I'm saying is, <laughs> we thinking about the Lamar, Lamar Odom. This nigga then relapsed all type of shit. What I'm saying is, you you're not aware of these things. So that's what I'm saying. The aftermath of everything don't play out as well. The beginning sound cool on some Hollywood shit. That's what I'm saying. I come from a real background. I can't be on no Hollywood shit on that. Mm -hmm. Which one of them that messed with any of them came out better on the other side? That's what I'm saying. The And the only one is still is Travis Scott. But she's not even No, a but the Jenner cool. She's a Jenner. She's not a Kardashian. You can fuck with a Jenner. The Kardashian curse. She's dating she's dating a white boy now. Yeah, but but he Travis Scott is still He's still flourishing. He's, he's, he's still Tiger. Did he fuck with the Jenner? No, he fuck with uh oh uh, the Jenner. No. Kylie. Did he? Kylie, Kylie yeah, right? Kylie, yeah. He's still he's still good. You, he's the Kardashian. You can't, nigga. You throw the yo ah in that. It's over. If your dad is you gonna fuck around if your dad is Caitlyn, it's over for you. If, oh. if you mess with one of Caitlyn's kids, it's over for you. Kate, I thought you said the Jenners are good. Caitlyn's kids are Jenners. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, no, no. Not, the lawyer. Oh, yeah, yeah, the lawyer. My bad, yeah, the Rest lawyer. Rest in peace. Rest yeah. In peace. yeah, if you mess with one of his kids. Because they wasn't on your radar before they start, the, before the girls start messing with them, right? And they not on your radar after. That's why you missing the message. Yeah. I'm thinking about my after. None of them are on my radar, from the women to the men. It's not my cup Did of tea. Did you know Reggie Bush before he messed with Kim K? I'm from Colorado, so I think that... Didn't he? No, he played for USC. <laughs> yeah, oh, he see, I don't know player. shit. Yeah, I don't care saying. about that shit. I'm not gonna lie. I be trying to act interested, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm taking sports officiating right now. I'm I'm almost registered to do the shit. See, this I, is things that men need to be aware of mm -hmm. because this is, niggas get money to lose it all. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to get hella money to lose it all. Man, a hard dick could get you down a, a deep hole, man. Ooh, the wrong way, for real. Hey, what's up with it? It's your boy, Louis Bell. This episode is sponsored by High Roller. Y'all go tap in, follow the Instagram page. They black on, ran by a black woman. So y'all tap in right now. Uh, cannabis delivery, all type. I ain't gonna get in detail. Y'all just follow, but I love everybody. Thank you so much. I'll see y'all. Come tell you, I, it, my, my people used to tell me this when I was younger. Like, yo, before you do something like with a chick, you thinking... Go jack off and then see if you still feel the mm -hmm. same way afterwards. Can you pass me that purse? And there will be times where I'd be like, all right, do that. And then I'll be like, man, don't even come over here, bitch. I want to sleep. Right. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Because it's like, yo, that that blood down there is making you think something. Nah. You willing to risk it. You doing some wild shit. Yeah. How many times you like, let me just stick it in? You be like, you should have AIDS, dog. Like, yeah. you just be so ready to go. You be like, I just want to just, come on. And then you be like, what am I doing, bro? But if right. you thought about it calmly, you be like, nah, nigga, you got to get that's why, that's why I see why uh, men that have a woman in their life, they stay out of hella shit. Mm -hmm. Because it's like you ain't dealing, you dodging a lot of shit when you go home to your woman. My man, he, uh, rest in peace, my man Ferg. You was impressed for me to say that, right? I was. He, my I man like Ferg, you. Uh, he did sales. <laughs> and he said that he would wear, before he got married, he would wear a wedding ring to interviews. Mm -hmm. And he said he learned that because one time he went to an interview and dude was like, I don't hire single dudes because you want no family, no you. kids. Yeah. You what don't you have nothing on. to keep you grounded. Right. You can be a wild card. You can go blow your money on drugs, hookers, mm -hmm. whatever. Like, if you got a family, a house, stuff like that, you more likely be like, I can't do that shit. I got to go to the... That's real. He was like, so he told him, he said, I start wearing wedding rings to interviews. You see, I got one on too. And, and, and I would just, you know... They want you bad when you got them on. He said, and that's because a, a, a woman keeps you, a family keeps you... Not everybody. Some niggas don't care. They be in Vegas. Like, oh, I lost my fucking house. Yeah. Can't go home, but... <laughs> Most times you be like, nah, bro, I can't do this, man. My daughter, her birthday coming up, I gotta chill. Yeah, and it keeps real. you kind of level a Very little bit. Real. You know what I mean? That's what, and that's why I said again, like we're better together than apart. And you are right, we don't keep each other accountable. I think women are worse at accountability overall, but men are worse when it comes to checking dudes on relationship stuff. Like we, we might be like, yo, turn, take that that outfit off, bro. What the fuck is, don't wear that shit out. Right. You'll be like, oh, girl, you look fine. No, she don't. 
You're no, not gonna tell her. I that. don't do that. But a lot, but most, most women, most do. women, they're well, not you're gonna not say that. You're not coming out with me like that. They, they don't, they don't communicate like that. We'll be like, oh, you like this shirt look good, man. Fuck out of here. Yo, do I look fat? I know five fat people. You three of them, fam. Go change that shit. Like we, t- we'll, we'll keep. But it'd be like, bro, you about to go cheat on your wife? It'd be like that ain't none of that my, business, my business. What he yeah. doing? So when it that comes to that, business. men and women are equal. We just people to stay out of it. I seen a video where dudes eating some chips on the internet. He was like, my boy mad at me because I wouldn't let him cheat on his wife. Fuck that. I put I paid to go to the wedding. I bought you a gift. Fuck no. You can call me her. Got me calling her sis, nigga. You're not cheating on her around me. Mm. So she'd be asking me questions. Nah, I do that shit when I ain't And you know around. what? Like and my, it was like grounding him up. Like, oh, this nigga lame as hell. But like, nah, bro. Like, that's your man's. And he married. You know, he about to throw that shit away. It told me everything I needed Damn, to know. His that's friends. That nigga, bro. <laughs> like, his friends, the people that were around my ex, literally sis this, sis that, call me, sleep on my couch if they needed, if they got too drunk, come sleep on my couch. And would be out with him. I would catch him like on the close friends. Like somehow I get access to everybody's close friends. I'm watching the close friends where the girls posting. Yeah, she another girl sitting on your lap and the homies like laughing about it. And I'm like, where are your friends? You're about to throw away Christina Mackey because what? Because you want to strip it for the night? Like, are you Because it's like, oh, bro, that's you supposed to do. It's just, you get to a certain age where that shit is not important no more. Oh, he's not reached that age and he's almost 40. Because sometimes you'll be like, yo, is this, I want peace over pussy. Mmm, that's a that's some game right there, Mike. I, I'm almost I'm 39. You'd I be want surprised peace how many pussy. people don't think that. I'd be looking at chicks and I'm like, you ain't even worth the goddamn headache. I'm gonna go home to my lady and just, yo, this bitch try to get on me at the at the club. And you know, it's some show. real player <laughs> shit when you can turn some down. Yeah, that's, that's some player that's shit. That's when they yeah. want you more on oh, mamas. Cause any dude, cause any you time tell you chasing, you can't fuck me, bitch. What you bitch. Made, you, think, you know what I'm saying? You thought you could get me? What's wrong with you? I'm just playing. Y'all. You ever see uh like so, like um. It's a girl doing it, but it's the same. Like, the dude's texting her, like, yo, what you doing right now? And she posts a picture, like, what her dude, like, sucking my nigga's dick. Like, and, it, you know, the dude probably, like, oh, shit, like, oh, you know what I mean? Like, she repping her dude. If dudes did the same thing, like, you, t- what, what you doing, daddy? Eat my girl's ass. What you want? <laughs> oh, shit. She gonna want that motherfucker more because you, they, you people want what they can't have. Mm. You chase what you can't, you know what I'm saying? If it was easy to get, you'd be like, all right, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, that's cool. She'll be there. Once she ain't no more getting her. That's why girls be like, he ain't never want me when I was single. Now I'm in a relationship. He banging on my door. Da, da, da. Mm. Now because you you cutting off access. Mm. You was accessible all that time. He know, like, oh, I'll hit her tomorrow. Or, yo, if this don't, I can get the, I know that pussy guaranteed. I'm going to go fuck this new chick. Then if that don't work out, I'll go back to her. But then if it's like, if you ain't here in 10 minutes, oh, shit, all right, I'm on my way. Once you cut the access off, then it becomes like a, no, nah, I got to get her. Then it's panic mode. And that's just anything in life. Yeah, anything, what do you man, feel like woman? for you is, like, I'm not messing this up. Like, what you mean? With a woman. When you meet a woman. Like, I'm not messing this up. If I get her and I get the opportunity to pursue this full time, I'm not messing this up. What What is a, what's that list look like for you? Like the signs of me feeling that way about somebody? Yeah, like, what is, what validates that feeling? Uh... What I, I kind of feel like that come with time, time and, and and understanding if we got the same morals, values, and and, and heart. Mm-hmm. I think that's like okay, you can't find that in a person. Mm-hmm. That's what it is for me. It ain't look or money and none of that. The money matter, the look matter, but behind all that is really the heart. Cause I'm like that. Like mm-hmm. you know, it's it's way more to me than what I present. So if you can fuck with me mm. after all of this shit, mm. I know you could. All right, we can rock. Right. What about you? Man, similar. Like, I, I, I'm i at that point now where it's like, yo, I just want that one person where it's like, yo, this is. Because I didn't done that. I, like, I was in the military. We was in the barracks going crazy. Like, I was putting up numbers. So now that shit has played out, it's like, this don't, this no thrill in this. Like, I'm more of like, I'd rather take my girl and my kids, the family out to go do something y'all took my family to Greece or you know what I mean we had a good time that's the kind of thing that, so when I get someone that's like in my corner support me like yo you go do that I got this go you know go chase your dream whatever mm-hmm. I'm not giving that up mm-hmm. to be like oh this bitch is in Phoenix she wanna fuck me in the room cause I had a good set oh fuck that you know what I'm saying cause if I if I lose the person back home running the house and making sure everything is good and yo I got your flight booked or your bag is packed all this I'm not giving that up for no Fuck no, you know what I'm yeah, saying? You it don't want to lose your for sure for some more. Yeah, like it's just a, like, it, but it takes. I, I ain't going front like I always been like that. It's really been like that over like the last two years. Mm. 
three years. Even with the girl that I was talking about, I would have if I thought the way I thought now, my friend I'd have been like, bitch, you gotta go. I kind of feel like cheating should be the shouldn't be the deal breaker. It's though. not. I don't think it's a deal breaker, but I think and it's the action behind. Wait, it. wait, for men. I think for me, bitch, if you this. cheat on me, this shit over. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a wrap. There's that's definitely that's that's out. You're penetrating a wound. I get it. I, like, yeah. But for me, I'm you understand that? Where, I understand that. But uh, for me, that's not a deal breaker. Cheating it's the action behind the cheating. Did you take enough time to make sure that I would never find out that you cheated? Because then I don't give a fuck. Oh, for real? But yeah, if, that, what am friend. I mad about something I don't know about? I'm in school getting three degrees right now. Where do you think in between that time, on top of me being a baddie, do I have time to know that <laughs> yeah, you like cheated that, on that me? That you know what I'm drop. saying? I'm just saying. Because like, I, I take pride in how I look. I take pride in how I move and how I feel. I make sure I get my nails and my hair done. Like I, I like that stuff for me, yeah. but I also know a man really appreciates when yeah. he when he has a fine woman. Yeah. But on top of that, I'm getting a degree in communications, a degree in nursing, and a degree in kinesiology, and I work out every day. There's no way that you think I'm about to go dig for dirt. Yeah. But if you gave me the trail, you have no respect for me. You don't like me. That's what I was trying to say about Chloe. Like, I know that Tristan doesn't like Chloe. Because there's no way he would move like that. If he did, he would protect her. Respect. That, he don't respect, respect her. You can like somebody that you don't respect. Yeah. That's and I'm that's saying. why niggas there's move no way a certain he way. Re- he doesn't respect yeah. her. But then you can respect somebody and make a mistake. I'm a, I'm a that's tell you. not true because when you respect me, you're going to make sure like, damn, I really want my rocks off tonight. So... But I know that if Christina finds out, so let me make sure I let her know, hey, I'm good. I'm just chill. Like, I, I would take the extra steps to cover it up. And granted, I would rather somebody just not want to do any of that. Respecting yeah. you re- is more important than loving you. Because a, a man can right. love you it goes and still in and cheat. Out. It comes but the in and out. respect be like, nah, I just, I can't do that. The respect is the only thing that can't be negotiable. Yeah, for exactly. Me yep. In a relationship, the love is gonna go up. It's gonna go down. It's gonna be in. It's gonna be out. It's gonna be. It, we're gonna. We're always gonna love each other. But the feelings go all around, right? Some weeks I might be like mad about you, and the other weeks I really don't want to be bothered, right? But the respect is the domin like uh, the denominator that cannot change. Unwavering. It, yeah. And so, I, if I had like, I'll give you an example. If I have one girl that's like, hey, look, I know you're on the road, you're doing shit. Just don't let me find out about nothing. I'll cheat on her. I don't want to say that. No, though. no, I'm just saying if, if I've had a woman. Why say, not? Like if a woman I'm not, says that. Because when you say that, it's validation for them to act like idiots. But what I'm letting you know is the minute that I find out you don't respect me. Yeah. It's over. That's it's out. not about the cheating. The cheating isn't what got me to leave. I stayed with him so long after cheating. It was the repetition in women coming to me and you not the having disrespect. enough plat. It's the disrespect. It's yeah. the fact that why the fuck would you take somebody that you t- somewhere you took me knowing I know the people that work there. Yeah, that's out of pocket. You you go take that shit out of town or something. Don't post nothing on your story. Bitch, we Make going sure. to Alaska. That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm talking about friends because... Why are her, why can I go look at all four of your friends' page and see what you did to this weekend? You didn't post it, but all four of your stupid ass friends looked. Mm. And and I go <laughs> and I look at their page and I'm seeing like, yes, I was digging for dirt and I got dirty. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't him that got dirty. Only only loss he really took was me leaving. But the 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 loss that I took was my pride, my confidence, my ability to just sit home and enjoy myself. All I could think about was him. I'm driving myself crazy because I'm so wrapped That's up so in what unhealthy. this man is doing. So I dig for dirt and I got dirty. He didn't get dirty. He lost me and that sucks, but he's still out having fun enjoying bitches, right? Mm. He's fine. But I literally had to reevaluate my whole life over again and re- Honestly, rebuild my confidence. I'm not ashamed to say that. Because no, when that's somebody that you love so much. Break you. Yeah, that shit broke me. Damn. It literally tore me to pieces. I'm still not done healing. I'm over it. I'm just not done healing. Because it literally tore me to pieces how much I would dig for dirt. You do not dig for dirt. But when a man loves you and he respects you, he does not allow you to know what the fuck he really wants to do. He just does it and keeps his shit clean. He makes sure home's taken care of. He makes sure the bills are paid and food's in the fridge so that I'm busy doing my own shit. And then, okay, she good. I know she good. Now, if I'm really fiending for Yasmin's pussy, I can go get it now without her knowing. So let me ask you this. What would you prefer if you had to choose one? Him, even though he's not letting you find out about none of it, let's just say you found out on a humbug. He was covering his tracks. He's out there cracking different chicks all the time, or he just got one joint that she knows her fucking place. They meet every Tuesday. He does his thing. That's it. He only fucks with her. He's covering his trail, but somehow you was late one day to go pick up the dry cleaning and seen him leaving. Some shit like that. Like, he's not being messy. Accident. Which one would you prefer to be him fucking a lot of different chicks or just this one Don't joint? Don't say neither. 
I'll be honest with you. If I'm you not, had to choose. Yeah. I'm not answering that because... <laughs> no, no, let me answer. I I'm not with. answering that because I'm not manifesting no bullshit like that for Ooh, myself. I like so that. So you're going to have to that ask somebody else that. That was a player-ass answer. Ooh, like okay. Let me get some of that. Oh, I fuck, I like you're that. Gonna have, you're going to have to ask somebody else that. Because when you that. speak like words, that. you res- manifest. I, the words have power. I respect like that. how he was manifesting that broke bitch earlier. <laughs> he ain't going to let me let that shit down. That's how I see this nigga like, yeah, you know, what's up? He going to be like, she, you got to make that up. Look, I'm just telling you, though, I'm not manifesting that. And, and what you end up doing with me when mm. you get with me, my only warning is if I find out it's a wrap. That's my warning. Now, what you want to do, if you be like, okay, cool, this game game on, challenge accepted, then do you. You want to be an idiot, fine. But I'm a good woman, and I'm going to make you feel good, and I'm going to make sure that I take care of my responsibilities as a woman, and I'm not going to, I'm literally not leaving you lacking for nothing. If, if you think I, you're lacking when you're with me, then you just didn't ever desire me in the first place. But I'm going to do the massages, I'm going to cook something, I'm going to So try. it's not the cheating, it's the respect. It's the respect, only the respect. If I, I, if I was with a woman and she was like, like I said, the first woman is like, hey, I know you don't, just don't let me find out. That's the one I'm going to cheat on. And yeah. the other one is like, look, Mike, if you cheat on me, that shit is going to break my fucking heart. I'm not doing it. Because now it's like, it ain't about the sex. You shouldn't it's, need it's, a woman to I, say those I, I words. Th- I th- I think, no, I'm saying. Like, I think cheating ain't got nothing to do says, with the woman, though. Oh, I know you're out there. Just don't let me. F-. Like, I'm just giving you, like, the mindset of two different women. It's because you said, would you cheat? I'm saying, no. If, oh, I, yeah. if I'm with someone that I know that this is going to crush her soul because she just loves me so much, then I'm just, there's no way I could even do it. But if the other chick, I'm just like, she don't even give a fuck. She out yeah. there telling me, well, just don't let me find that out. That fear don't be stopping niggas. Niggas be scared of their wife, traumatized of their wife, don't want to let their wife, car, don't like, want the wife to leave. Fear, niggas still bust I have play. a homeboy that smashed a woman who's like, his wife is crazy, will pull up on you and beat the woman up no matter what. She's literally nuts. And if I'm, if you catch me talking about you, I'm sorry. I love you, girl. Yeah, because she'll get <laughs> but your she ass. But she's crazy. And she'll tell you she's crazy. But mm. he She got big eyes? My daddy said girls with <laughs> big eyes is crazy. Too. But that's why she's they really say gorgeous. it's better to be but look, uh, he went respected outside. than fear. Because fear, she's, he's, he, don't, he, he, he might fear, but he's still running around doing exactly. shit. For sure. If he respected her, he, he just wouldn't do it. He was exactly. so scared that he had the girl pull up at the club. They both went outside. He fucked her behind the dumpster. What? I'm not lying to you. It happened in Houston. He fucked her behind the dumpster and went back inside and acted like nothing happened. That's a dirty ass nigga. I'm not lying to you. Back of the club. I won't say behind the dumpster. How you but even like, get turned on smelling that dumpster, that garbage? Because her pussy I mean, probably not, was thinking I'm too. I'm not uh, saying they hid behind the dumpster. I'm saying they're back of the alley. Yeah. It, Just some, I'd have some wild in the alley. shit. That, that kind of turns. That's a little bit of a. If I could fuck someone where there's like a, a chance of getting caught, I like that. I do too. But not in a fucking. But not, not in, in the alley. Though, nigga. <laughs> Not in the alley. <laughs> it is a fun thing about getting caught, but like, I don't know. What, uh, what's what, the dumbest place you got caught having sex at? I'm not like that. I'm Who not. Be on here? I'm not like that. If I, if I had an answer for your question, I, I would. I never got caught, but I've been I've, in some places. I've never got like caught. Crazy. I've never even got caught having sexual intercourse. I've never got caught. You lying. I've never got caught. So you ain't had no fun yet. No. I'll be afraid of getting caught jacking off. Like does- somebody walk in and say, oh, hey, come the fuck on, man. Why you ain't not, nigga? That's my worst fear, dog, is that. Like, I don't care I about getting caught I walked in on my brother you. jacking off, my older brother jacking off. That's crazy. When Damn. I was 12 years old, it scarred me. I had I got caught fucking one time. It was like in my bedroom though. I had a my birthday party when I lived back home. I used to have these big cookouts at my house. Mm-hmm. Now I invite everybody. Like now I think about how stupid it was. I'd be telling people, just get it. I'd put an address on Instagram. Damn. Yo, pull up. Niggas just shot a big ass house. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I remember we was about to go to the club, the party was ending, and my female friend, like one of my close friends, she was upstairs going to the bathroom. I don't know. I'm in there like I'm about to fuck my girl real quick before I go out to the club. Just cause I know how I'm feeling right now and I go out. I'm going out with a loaded gun. Somebody else gonna get it. So I'm fucking her just on top, like on from the back. And she walks in like, where's your, oh my God, closes the door. I'm like, yeah, give me one second and shit. I finish. Come on, Sasha. She's like, y'all are so nasty. I'm like, oh, nigga, would you, you know, help her clean up the crib with y'all? Right. That was the only time I ever got no, caught. But I've I wasn't never, embarrassed, but it was like, in my bedroom. snuck it. Like, I, that's just not like, I don't know. Damn. I'm not saying I haven't had, had exciting experience. Y'all some good experience. American citizens. How long ago was it, the relationship that you said you're still healing from? Uh, you finna bring up? her six back trauma. Ago. No, oh, six years ago. Are you, yeah, I feel like I'm healing though because of the growth. The like, so I'm so different than I was then. You think it'll? Do you think the healing will be a continual thing, or you think that it's just a continuous like, uh, thing? Because you don't understand the the magnitude of the relationship and who I was with. Yeah, was like a nightmare. Uh, so it was like a lot of it was a, it was deep. like I mean it, it's deep. 
reconstructive surgery. Yeah. Got to learn how to walk again and shit. No, for real. Like, no, I'm and, serious. And like, um, I've dated guys where they're like, like you're like really fragile. Like I don't, I just don't want to hurt you. Like you're, he literally told me one recent guy is like, I literally love you, but you're so fragile. And I just don't want to. Um, Motherfuckers for sure. Real, be that's like a that. real dude, though, to say that because some yeah. guys will be like, man, I ain't my And he's issue. like, I know that you're going to take it like I don't like you enough. I do. But you're fragile. And where I'm at is not ready to hold this thing. Yeah, that nigga on some player shit. I like Maybe, it. but we weren't smashing, so it didn't have to be too much player, you know, too much. No, nah, player shit just naturally. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. That's what I'm saying, ladies. Y'all need to be fucking the player, yeah. not the niggas that's saying everything right. It's make nigga just make you feel no, right. Ladies, you need to sleep with the man that shows you proof in action and that follows up when he speaks words, he holds to that and he holds value in his words. You don't need to sleep with the man who's player and who's fun. But that's player. You holding your word? What's play? Yeah, that's all I was just saying. But you know, player. I don't understand what's, how dudes don't understand that being reliable is the, like the a masculine. The sexiest thing like, in the world is a reliable man. Yeah, yeah, that is. But Women do manipulate men no. that's very reliable too. So you gotta to pick you and choose no, who you're gonna be I don't on see that with. Someone like you get manipulated. I can't manipulate you up. to like, hold to your do, word. Yeah. It was your words. I didn't ask you. Like men will make promises and just vomit at the mouth. Like, oh, I'm gonna do this for you. I'm gonna do this for. You. I didn't ask you to do that's none of that. That's that trick ass you just shit said though. Shit, yeah. And then you didn't hold to like, it, and now you're annoying. Even in a, even yeah, in, that ain't player. But that's even not in, player. Even in a, like a man on man, like if 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 Lou say, yo, can you be here tonight? I'm like, yeah, he says that eight. Yeah. It's at eight fifteen. Where you at? Oh shit! I'm uh, I'm, I'm at, on yeah. like, Yo, that's yeah. like that's yo, come not on, my nigga. a man of his but if, word. But if you hear like yo, I'm outside ten minutes too. He's like, oh shit, I can count on him. Yeah, reliability. Even men be like, I respect. You yeah. Know that? So if 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 that's respectable, commendable to men, what do you think women think? Oh, I asked him to do this. He but, said he was going to do this. That was the But answer. men fuck up with commend the shit because they want to keep somebody. And they can't. Like, I don't want you to do some shit you don't want to do. Yeah. So if I say, yeah, hey, yeah, pull up on me at eight, and then you don't pull up, nigga, I ain't tripping off this nigga pulling up because this bitch ass nigga didn't probably want to be here anyways. Right. He could have just kept it real and just said, nigga, I don't want to do the shit. Can I tell yeah. you something? You know what I'm saying? But what I'm saying, niggas do that with women, though. Yeah, because a nigga tell another nigga, nah, I don't feel like doing that shit, though. I'll catch you another time. But a girl. Oh, yeah, I'll be there. Yeah, no, I got you. And then. I'll help you move your house. Fuck no. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's not player because you doing shit to, to cater to the female. Not, and that's what I said for uh, when men really understand. It's not really your character. That that's not who you are. You're doing something to get something. Yeah, yeah. But, but a player ain't trying to do something to get something. You I'm not taking it? you out to get some pussy. Can I tell you something? What? If I had a man who was reliable, mm -hmm. but I later on found out he was a cheater, but he was the most reliable man, mm -hmm. I would stay with him. Honest to God, I would stay with him because life's too short to be trying to find the one person who only wants to sleep with you. It's beautiful women out here. Let me Every ask day you I this. go outside and wait. Every day I go outside and I'm like, Damn, these bitches is fine. They just turned 18. I just was at a... I was at... Oh, oh, oh I almost said It's a new batch of just, bitches out It's every a day. new batch of bitches out here today. And they are young and thick and fine. And they already know the makeup tricks. And they fine. All kind of GMO you know food and shit. <laughs> I'm saying they vegan already. 21 and vegan. Baddies. I'm telling you, some baddies. So it's like, I understand like all that's tempting. And men don't have as much control as a woman does. Because a woman doesn't seek the same things that a man does. Mm -hmm. But if I had a man who was like, you know what? He wrong for what he be doing, but he's reliable. Mm. He may, he takes care of me. He's reliable. He's a man of his word. When he speaks, he you can count on what he said. I would stay, man. Kevin that Samuel matters. said that matters. Kevin Samuel said a man could be committed to you but not be faithful. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what the fuck do you mean? Then he went elaborate. He said, because a man's commitment to you is not the same as a woman's commitment. A, a woman's commitment. Oh, your commitment is not fucking no one else. Doing you know, a man is like, do I provide for you? Do I protect you? Do I all these things do I lead do I that's a man's commitment that's when he says he's committed to you him fucking another chick is not like well I'm not committed to her and he was explaining that and all the girls are called in of course if you ever seen the show none of them 99% of them were like ah fuck that they're you know off the rails that's why he was so popular but I never looked at it like that and, and he said like he was in relationships he was like I, I never cheated but I, I opted to not do that that was my choice some dudes be like I got this bread I'm doing all this and women will be like, all men are the same. That's a fact. Then if all men are the same and you got a rich nigga that's treating you good and all that, but he's fucking somebody else, why you leave him to go be with the, the plumber that nigga sense. that's fucking a raggedy Another bitch Another thing the is women always want to talk about how men don't know how to communicate. No, the man that you're talking to just doesn't like you. 
Because men communicate thoroughly when they like you. They're frequent, they're consistent, and they're thorough. If he's not those things, he does not like you, babe. The one thing I like about you <laughs> watching your page you is... You cold motherfucker. You, you're real, right? And you're realistic, and that's a good thing. A lot of times, what women don't understand is when they post stuff or when they say stuff, they don't realize how telling their situation is about what they're saying. Yeah. Niggas be there. No, no, no. The you. niggas you fuck with. Because you're saying like, you just, billions of people on the planet, you think every nigga act like that? No. And I was it's telling the one, of you fuck with. one of my homegirls, one of my homegirls. You keep fucking with the same niggas, this yeah. you. One of my homegirls stopped being my friend because I was like, bro, you keep dating the same type of guy and then you with wonder why you name. get the same, with a different name. <laughs> Literally the same outfits, the same whack ass belts, the same everything, top to bottom, same guy. And you wonder why you're not, but if you went to a different place, a different, you know, a different, just go outside of the box that you've been in and try to date something new. And even if you don't end up being with that man, just to experience a new level so that now you can manifest higher. But if you keep doing the same thing over and over again, you're going to keep getting the same results. And that's the definition of crazy. You know what I'm going to say? And this is, they gonna, people going to be mad about it. And new. that's why I would take my ass to the Beyonce concert. You know what I'm saying? Because the younger me... Would we'll take my Drake. ass to the Drake shit and knock hella bitches. Listen, I'm, like, I'm going to Beyonce. Go to Beyonce. I'm going to tell you, this is exactly what you said. Is, and, and all, the whole show became when, about which one. When, 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 look, when black women be like, I, I, I did this, I'm about to go get a white man, right? All they're doing is just getting a white dude. The black equivalent to that is corny to them. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So you're not changing. You, you are changing the kind of guy, but you're accepting the corniness because the dude is white. If you've seen a black dude doing the same thing that that white dude was doing, you'd be like, he's a Russell Wilson, he's a lame, he's a square. You just went and got a white nigga that was corny. I don't, but, I don't, I don't, <laughs> you, know I don't you, you ever peep it? <laughs> that, peep it. And when you see, when black women say, oh, and not everyone, so I can't, you know, generally It's speaking, never a blanket statement. Yeah. Stop, you don't have to clear that up. But no, people, but people will be like, I know no, one person. No, that's I hate that shit. That's that. my number one pet peeve. <laughs> I pee. fucking hate that. If you need somebody to explain to you that your situation is not the one and only situation, you're an idiot. Like, I'm sorry, I but fucking, you're an idiot. I don't love everybody. I hate you. That get shit. on my fucking nerves. I love everybody. But, but I don't. The you women get on my I see, the black one I you see, you never have to make a disclaimer for a blanket statement. It doesn't exist. To get a, a white dude, that same white dude, if you looked at him on paper or mm -hmm. how you met him, you'd be like, I know a bunch of black dudes that you would call corny to act just like this. You thought you went and got a white dude who's treating you better. That dude would have treated you the same what way. What I think is corny is leaving a black man to go get a white dude because you think you're going to get treated better instead of People just getting really a be better. Doing that? Instead of just getting a better. That's option what, of that, a man. That's I feel like black men do it to black women more than like. I feel like black men go switch up and go get outside of. No, nah, there's a statistic to say, um, eighty percent of black men are are married to black women, and I think it's the the higher percentage of uh, women women marry outside of the race than black men. Oh, that's hard for me to but believe. Like, like it might be like eighty percent of black men are married to black women. And sixty percent of black women are married to black men, which means really? forty percent of them. I want. feel like it would be reversed. Just no, but I mean, I seen this. I don't know the exact number, but I know that, that nigga seen it on Instagram. No, it's no, <laughs> official. No, no, it was a, 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 a study. You know, studies could be by, you know what I mean? But it's, yeah. Say, yeah, yeah, you can never trust. Well, he could have typed that shit. Black men yeah. are married to black yeah. women. And you know, it's a lot of that shit. I don't, I don't give a fuck. There's a lot of corny just, ass black men. I ain't I gonna feel lie, like ladies. Date whoever you want, but don't just act like black men are incoherent or not capable of communicating thorough. They do. The ones you date just don't like you. It's here because they pick the date better. Pick date, one date, kind date of somebody black who likes you instead of like we we always crack. You know, Russell Wilson's corny. You know, all he's that, not corny. He's a great man. But I'm saying well, that's the the, the thing. That's he's the a corny theme. dude or whatever, right? But guess what? Uh, 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 someone like Eve, she got a white billionaire dude, right? Mm. That dude, rapper. That um, that dude, the gumball dude, the gumball 3000 dude that she's married to, he might be just like Russell Wilson, but he's white. No one's giving him the flack. Like, oh, you got that corny white dude? They're like, oh, he must be that man if he begged the black That's what chick. I'm saying. Not, that's another thing. Like, because you guys really love Future, nobody will stand up for Russell and stand behind him and say, he's a good man. He's taking care of his family. His kids are fed. He's looking out for, you know, he's loving his wife publicly and embracing her. He's not cheating on her. So black men are standing behind Russell saying, Russell is a great man. Y'all just calling him corny because y'all are up fucking Future's ass. But no, no. I don't give a fuck about 80 all of them niggas. No, but I'll say this, right? <laughs> like, he was just saying, right? He said he's 40s married, 
right? Shit. You say E forty is married and E forty don't cheat. Exactly. So there's a difference between and he E40. a player. He's a player. There's a difference between E forty and Russell. We're not mad at Russell Wilson because of the way he treats here. That's dope. How a black you don't man, know how Russell Wilson is though. You see, he him. could be dicking her down. But no, I'm not talking. But you, but you saying he a good man? How you know you a good man then? We don't know these niggas. Like if we was hanging with this nigga, we seen him at the improv. Like, <laughs> he be doing corny hey, shit like that. Do that. Yes, he does. That You're is how that nigga doing. I'm not being funny. Am I right or wrong? He be like, <laughs> he does not do that. He shoots the gun. He, he does gun fingers and You're shit. You're lying. That's why we call him corny. No, we're not oh, calling shit. him corny because of the way. I'm he not goes. calling you him corny. What I think. I, I'm, I'm not, not think, calling him corny. I think it's stupid that because he's being himself, he's corny. It's just a funny. lot of niggas out here are fake player pimp, fake funny, fake that's funny. Fact. You know that's what I'm saying? worse. That's, that's worse. That's corny. That's worse. You know what's corny? That's definitely worse. Niggas not being able to be themselves because they don't want to be judged. That's worse. Russell is himself. Himself. I'm not mad exactly. at that, but it's still it is what it is. Russell's a good man, and Sierra got a good one. Like I could be and Future is not a good man. Wait, we can't do that. Yeah, Wait, they might. Be, they both might be good guys. No, they're not. Maybe he just wasn't good to her. How? Because that they're not. Her, that wasn't. His and person. I feel I, I'm cool with Future, so I don't want to be disrespectful. So what if you got with Future? Down I wouldn't line, get with Future. And he treated you like the way Gucci treat Keisha Kiora now. I don't. I don't Would want you, neither of those. No, but I'm saying, what? I don't want neither of those relationships. What, 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 which one? I don't want Gucci and Ke Keisha Kaur, and I don't want Future and whoever he picked today. You want the Russell Wilson shit? I don't want that. You what know what you I want? want? I want Christina Mackey and her husband. I don't want what y'all got. I like that exactly. That shit is corny. I like what you're saying. I want that my was, own shit. You fuck it. I'll I want Christina Mackey you. and her husband. I don't want what y'all got. None of y'all are goals to me. All right, so describe. Okay, Facts. I like that. That's what my point is. I like is. that because you don't know what they're really going through. I don't know through. what That's they're going through. That's my point. I like that. But what I'm saying is what, what it looks like is what I was saying. I, but, none of it looks so good to me. So what do you want? What do you want? What If you describe what your situation would be, how would it look on, on paper? I mean, not a, but in real life. Like how I feel like that's why we fucking up in this generation because we're trying to make a goals. Perfect, I wanna be perfect picture. Post like this and post like that and buy me this and make it look like this and Ari got this and you know I don't who I'm give say, a fuck. I'm going to say this. <laughs> from what I can see, you you don't know this person, but you do. Uh -huh. From what I can see, the kind of relationship I want is what David Arnold had with his wife. Yeah, I wouldn't. I don't know. I love everybody. I I like that because he could be beating her behind closed doors. No, no. I said I'm saying based on what it appeared. Like if that was oh, no, but but that's the true. problem. When I say I want a relationship like this or that, they could be getting beat behind. closed I want doors. a relationship then, like how my parents' relationship is. And then is. that's fair to say because you know what's that, going on so behind closed doors. But yeah. you know what? I don't give a fuck about these celebrities. Like David Arnold and his, his wife or whatever his yeah. name was, you're manifesting their de demons, and I'm not doing that. My relationship is going to be healthy, resilient, and it's going to be honest. And it's going to be whatever we want it to be. I, like I don't that. know what that is yet. Because like I told you, I'm in school. I'm not worried about no relationship. Yeah, you're so young. try dick and that's it. You just want some what? Hmm? She said she just want to try some dick and that's it. I didn't say that's that. That's cool. That's not what I said. What did you say? That's not what I said. What you say? We got the to take. said that. <laughs> I heard that. Just like you heard, he said, chicks in the south, you think like somebody in the south. I heard that you said No, that. I just want what I want when I want it, and I'm going to get it when I got it. And that's, that's cool. It, you know? I don't want to manifest other people's demons. Y'all be looking at people's pictures and being like goals, and then whole time he's beating her and shoving shit up her while she's sleeping, <laughs> doing shit that she don't want. So it goes back to his point. We don't know who a good man and who, but we don't know. That's what's going to be slapping I, the shit out of CN. No, we don't know. My disclaimer was, I said, how it looks, not yeah, what it actually but is. But how, how it looks. looks, how it looks. If we're talking about just the look, the aesthetic, it looks healthy. And uh, black people tend to think That's healthy relationships are corny. No, no, yes, no, yes. I like that. I see what you're saying, but I don't. How yes. long have your parents been together, married, A or long not time. even together? Like thirty some years. Yeah. So, yeah, what, you were 32, 33? 30. Well, I'm 29. Oh, for real? Yeah, I was oh, born into it, man. God damn. I got mm -hmm. you about a decade. I feel old. I'm the old nigga. Yeah. So my I ain't my I ain't grow up seeing no real healthy relationships. All the relationships I seen was fucked That's up. That's why y'all be one. here guessing and shit. I'm, I saw one. I'm and just you know what? As I go. The healthy relationship I saw, my grandfather passed away, rest in peace, grandpa, he died of old age. And then my grandmother, who's still alive, ninety four, just drove all the Damn, way to Colorado. That's raw. When I drove to Colorado, I went to go see her. That's dope. Shout out to my grandma and grandpa. She's ninety four. Ninety four. That's hella Looking clean. Good. Looking good. Ooh, that Shout out crazy. to my grandpa and my grandma. Um, but 
one of my grandpas is still alive, so shout mm -hmm. out to you, Grandpa Dan. But my, anyways, that healthy relationship, I never saw them kiss. They didn't sleep in the same room. And what? everything she wanted, she gave to him. Never slept in the same room where you didn't see it? They did not sleep in the same room. They had God. their own rooms because they wanted to watch TV and go to sleep to different things. Yeah. So they spent the day together. They hung out. They went, traveled together. They do everything together. Well, I done seen my daddy slap my mama on the ass. They going in the room, no. all the shit. She cut Player his hair. shit. She cut his hair for him. She wiped his ass when he died. Like, she took Damn. care of him. She He died on hospice. Um, She did everything for him. She changed his diaper. She lotioned his feet. But... Man, they my went mom in separate was the rooms. Mistress, nigga, we was this family on the other side of town, dog. <laughs> mm. Real shit. My dad had a whole wife, like mm. some fancy shit, dog. Like Denzel. Yeah, Real yeah. Shit. yeah. And, it, and the crazy thing, and I, I got, I, I got a joke about it. Like we was a second string family. Like my dad, he both his, my mom and my stepmom, they're both Aries, the ten years apart. So I was like, this nigga just went out and got a newer model, like uh, two crazy bitches, like cause they're both insane like my mom and my so stomach. your mom was the mistress yeah she's mm -hmm. younger i'm and glad that you're able to be honest and oh yeah that. so and, and, I, and my dad tied I, all these I, niggas I like, like their mamas time. wasn't the side bitch no i told i told my dad i said nigga I'm you lucky saying. i said you should be in jail with r kelly nigga you was 27 my mom was 15 nigga like you was mm -hmm. a wild nigga like and, and how old's your mother now um 56 i think 57 i'm 39 she had me when i was 17 so they, they had to, she got pregnant once before me and miscarried. She had you when you were 17? When she was 17. Yeah, you said she had me when I was 17. Oh, no, when she was 17. So mm. she miscarried before that. Oh. And then, or or got abortion. One of the two, I think my granddad was like, nah, you getting rid of that. Cause he you was don't got to tell us how your mama No, I, she, yeah. this is us. Yeah, I was like, this shit like, whoa. No, so she, she had, so I'm it was like, I'm bracing myself. No, they was messing before that. Then okay. she got rid of whatever. And then she got pregnant again because he's just a nut ass nigga. And she was like, I ain't getting rid of this. And tell your fucking wife it's both of us. Like, fuck that. And she your mother. To, she yeah. She used to pull. My dad was making. Is she married now? Um, no. She does. She have a man? No. Nah. Well, yeah, she does. But I, uh, I don't know about that. There's a lesson in that. Listen, trust me. I, ah. Listen, my mom is 17, trapped in a 55 year old body. Fifty. St when, Still. Because it's like I, I read this is like whenever you suffer a, a serious like, and I tell her I don't matter because she's a kid. Going through that, being with yeah, a married man, being lied to, being yeah. manipulated, and he's going home to his wife, like, that got to fuck you up. Yeah. So I never was mad at her for anything. If she kept us away from him or told us, I never got mad. I'm like, she's a child dealing with a grown man. He's wild as hell for that. You're I love my dad. Yeah. He passed away two years ago. I love him, but he was fucked up for that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? He was yeah. manipulating a, a kid. But doing. that's why people got to slow down on R. Kelly, because there's a lot of these niggas is R. Kelly. Yeah, if all, and, and, and I'll be honest. That doesn't mean that, you slow down on them. You no, speed up I'm, on the other ones. No, but, what I'm but, saying, uh, though, motherfuckers is talking about R. Kelly, but niggas is uncles and, and, back and then, first that was boyfriends. Way more won't, won't, won't talk about that, though. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm yeah. saying. Like uh, I was in back. middle school, nigga, niggas older come fucking with the girls I got, and girls uh, thinking I'm immature. No, this nigga just hella old you fucking with. Yeah, we was in high school, stupid ass niggas bitch, pulling up with cars. We like, yo, why the fuck? But no, well, my dad, this niggas is R. Mom, Kelly. I never thought it was cool. Yeah, my mom was. I like these niggas corny to me. That and was definitely that more nigga. common back then than it is now for yeah. sure. But it still wasn't right. It's so still my mom, happening. my mom goes through stuff. I'd be like, you were dealing with a grown man. You, well, you have you're not even emotionally mature enough to to process that. So I don't get mad at the situation. I love her to death, and we talk about it all the time. Yeah. But he was just wild, and he had a wife. He would, and and they was so. And I love my stepmom, but she used to be like, my mom would be like, I'm dropping the kids off with her. You watch our kids. The wife. Yeah, while I'm out with your husband, and she would be like, nah, Is your mama white? Italian. Both. They're both white. Caucasian. That sounds yeah. like some white shit. So yeah, so my mom, you Caucasian. know, so I'm gonna tell you, Lou, this is the crazy <laughs> thing, right? My mom, my, my stepmom will be like, "Nah, you can go be with her, but you got to take your daughter, like uh -huh. the, my older sister, uh -huh. so she can like not let y'all fuck, like be, you know, cock blocking, right?" It was just crazy, a lot of shit. I grew up your in that dad, dysfunction and shit. Well, that nigga was good at manipulating. Well, he and he was just a wild, like he was, and he was an ugly big George Jefferson head, head black ass nigga. nigga. Yeah, black as fuck, short, like five six. Five, seven, just I don't know what he was doing, but these motherfuckers, they just button heads like And what like was Rams. the wife? What, what, what you mean? What's what? the wife? She was white, She's white too. too. Oh wow! My mom is like that's the only way you can pull this yeah, type of I'm shit like, off. Hit my my stepmom is like this. White, my like, point. I'm like dur, 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 this is my dur, point dur. about the Kardashian shit. My mom, the certain shit I come from, nigga, that's out. Yeah, I don't like, give a fuck how like much his, money I got, nigga. I can't go against that. Oh uh, yeah, my stepmom <laughs> is white. Like she was adopted, so we didn't know exactly what she is. But my mom is Italian. And she's feist like, like, and her, my grandmother's Italian too. Like that, she, they, I her fuck whole with the family. Italians, my I feel Italian. like Italians ain't regular white people though. See, they, well, this is what They're happened. Not. A they, lot have, of, they have, they have, they have culture. They got a little more seasoning. But I'm going to tell you why. So 
we're from, well, they're from Sicily. Back in the day, the Moors invaded Sicily and raped and pillaged. That Sicily at the right above Africa, Sicily and Africa like this. Oh, okay. They raided Sicily, pillaged, raped the women. That's why Italians have olive skin, dark hair. They used to have blue eyes and blonde hair. That's why the rest of Europe don't like Italians. They're the niggas. To they the Italy. niggas are white yeah, people for sure. Yeah, because they got nigger blood in them because they got raped and pillaged by the Moors. And then now that's why Italians in America don't like niggas because they're like it's because of y'all. It's and same the with the Puerto rest Rico. of the white people don't like us. Oh. Same with Puerto Rico. Yeah, so that's why you know what I mean. So that's why you see Italians. They be debonair. They be swore because they got some nigger in them. You yeah, know what I mean? but they're feisty. My mom, my grandma, they're, they're firecrackers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and she's an Aries. My, his my stepmom an Aries. He basically what was like, your dad. Feb February 16th? I don't know what that Pisces. is. Pisces. He just a wild nigga. My whole, but I grew up never seeing no healthy relationships. Even Pisces? My, I don't know what, I don't know. What's before Pisces? He's before Pisces. Pisces starts on the 20-something. Some. But yeah, so I never seen it. So when you say you got your, you seen, that's why you can play, that's, that's the kind of goals because you in the mix. Exactly. I don't want no goals. Of my, my, I mean, I love them because of my parents, but yeah. I don't want what they had. Yeah. I don't want that shit at all. That shit was crazy. You know what I mean? But, mm. I talk about it on stage and I laugh and my mom be like, uh, whatever, you know, she laughs. Yeah. My dad be like, oh, this nigga keep bringing this shit up, you know what I mean? My rest stepmom giggle, yeah, rest in peace. My oh, stepmom, mom. She's, me and her are super close though. I'm closer with her than my dad. Your stepmom? Yeah, because when I would go well, over to visit. Well, your dad's dead though, right? Yeah, he just died two years ago. Oh, okay. Though. But when I would go to visit, when I was a, like, she don't have no son, she got two daughters. So when my mom had me, she was like, got a son now. Yeah, Like yeah, she yeah. accepted it and never, yeah. you know, something like, well, that's. Why'd she accept you and not the daughter? Because she got two daughters. She, yeah, we don't need the daughter. We, really, I need a son. My sister's younger than me, so I was first. She's like, I don't have no boy. She, you know, if if my if you if your man cheated on you, had a baby, you, and you already got kids, you're not gonna love that kid like you love your kids. She, I never felt that, that way. That kid is not gonna know me. She, she, I, my my stepmom raised me like you would never know that I wasn't her kid, right. and we was like this. My dad was never around. He's working all the time, 60, 70 hours. We go visit him with her all the time. Right. She's raising me, she's protecting me. She's like, oh, you did this, don't tell your dad. Let me hide this. That girl came over, don't tell your dad. Like, me and her was like this, we're still super close. That's my dope. dad wasn't really that close. Mm -hmm. I didn't. I thought he didn't like me for the longest. We butt heads. He just always wanted the best. Yeah. You could pl I played football, score five touchdowns. Like nigga should have been six. Fuck out of here. That's how. You're that's like, how that beat up. So I used to always think like, this nigga don't like me. I was always that's like seeking approval. And then I found out he's like that with all the boys, my nephews. Yeah. All, he, I'm like, oh, he's like the only child too. That's nigga but shit. I didn't know that because I'm, I'm the I'm the oldest. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm the only boy, and then the other ones is my nephews. Yeah. You know, See, if you had son. a white dad, that nigga would be like, good job, good job, Billy. You know what I'm saying? But my dad score like, no touchdowns. That was a fucking great game. Did he put any fire in you to go hard? Swear to God, I, when he died, I was like, yo, I didn't have a relationship with my dad that I wanted, but I had the one I needed because he prepared me for a life that don't give a fuck about no niggas. Mm. Yeah. Like I went to boot camp in the army right out of high school. Good job. And it, they're going crazy yelling. And shit, everybody's like, oh, panicking. I'm like, nigga, Royce was a motherfucker, yeah, way worse yeah. than this. Right. I'm doing the push ups, like, yes, yes, drill sergeant. Right. Yep. Nigga, this I'm is not light. worried about I was, this nigga. I was tough, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I survived two wars, came, I was thorough, and it was because of him. And in my upbringing, like, he didn't play none of that shit. Made me walk in the rain two miles to work, and then again, I'm not giving you no ride the games on. Walk, motherfucker. I'll be like, oh, this nigga crazy, yeah. But now I'll be like, oh, I'm built for yeah, this shit, exactly. So at the time, I hated it. And in hindsight, when he passed, we was on good terms. I was like, I'm glad this nigga did that shit because oh, I'll be one of these these kids nowadays. He'll be one of these soft-ass niggas. These motherfuckers niggas. can't cross the street without getting hit. Right. You be like, what the oh, fuck? Mama. So I appreciate it. You know what I mean? Wasn't I ideal that. growing That's up, so but I, I'm I'm thankful. You know what I mean? But I didn't have that like what Lewis got where you could see his mom and dad together. I, I, I used to have friends. I'd be like, damn, nigga, you got your mom and your dad in the same house? Nigga, yeah. You lucky as shit. That's uh, real. That's some <laughs> lucky shit. Yeah, it is that's, really lucky. <laughs> But I feel like I, 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 I you know what? Outside way. of luck, I would say it takes two unselfish motherfuckers to make that happen. Two. I think I've seen That's my dad luck, take dog. sacrifices. I think I seen my mom take sacrifices for me to be raised with two parents. In That's the house. beautiful. That's but beautiful. I also yeah. think that it takes two unselfish people to know that we're better apart. Two unselfish people. Because uh -huh. when you stay in a relationship just because you have kids, I think that's selfish. Oh, yeah, but you got to think, other. I came in the picture, they was already fucking with it. That's yeah. why it lasts. I think people think having kids make... Make it have, last. Yeah, the, it's going to make everything kid? better or worse. Yeah. You the only kid? No, I got siblings. You the youngest? Yep. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. But I just feel like that... I, I just think it's just really about the two individuals. It's, it's not about, about the, the other shit. It ain't it about no money. It ain't about no kids. It ain't about, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's certain decisions you're going to have to make on behalf of 
the like child. people parents be making decisions on some people be having certain situations because they mama was selfish and they didn't even know their mama was selfish yeah. or their dad was selfish you know or what their I'm mama saying? was a hoe or they mama was a hoe, or they mama was a side bitch, or they, or they nigga was a, was a hoe, and they be like, yeah, come on. You see what I'm saying? Oh, come on, nigga, your mama. Motherfucker's not being honest. Come on, get you passed feel around me? like a 40 at a frat party, y'all. You yeah. don't want to talk about that. Hoes didn't just start getting created right now. You know what I'm right. Saying? So a lot of these it's niggas' mamas new, was hoes. This ain't new. <laughs> oh, this mama. is learned. Yeah, so I love everybody. I do too. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but no, nah, man. I think this is one of the longest episodes we've done it so was far. Worth it, though. It, it was, was worth it, man. It I appreciate good. you coming no, through, man. We didn't got yeah. come. We really yeah. had to Cali yeah. kick back. Yeah. Uh-huh. We didn't kick back, chop gang. You understand me? Yeah, I'm learning some shit. You yeah, know, you teaching man. me son. You teaching me something. We all got it's knowledge that something. we can't get in college, man. Yeah. Yeah, I'm telling you, bro. Yeah, no, nah, man. That's why you hit me like you want to do it. I'm like, yeah, yeah, hell yeah, I'll pull up, bro. Oh, mamas, man. Appreciate you coming through, Christina. I appreciate you. You want to be like you like the guest host now, like the yeah, like if he needs me, I'll come. Um, That's know. the balance That makes it good cause Can't yeah. do nothing Without a woman yeah. Yes Yo women make the like Tony Rock got a joke He said Women make everything better Yeah so. You go to a funeral yeah. And be like man. But it ain't too many women I can have come on here And yeah. host this thing Cause you gotta be game related You know oh, what I'm yeah, talking about yeah, No but you know what I'm saying Like you go somewhere And be like How was it That was cool man But the bitches yeah. That's what yeah. you said Like yo the bitches Oh they my god yeah. like, They just make it better I don't wanna go nowhere It's just all dudes yeah. Like, man, get yeah, me the fuck out of here, fish, bro. Fuck. It allows you to be a little vulnerable, too, because I'm going to ask you something he not going to ask exactly. you. Exactly. You know? Oh, yeah, for sure. That's the yeah. balance. But only Christina. She's special, so. She you dope. Know? I told yeah. you she'd be starting it up on the internet and yeah, shit. Yeah, she yeah. knows what she's doing. I be watching the videos. I'm like, oh, that's my fucking. You know. I go so. to the comments just to see how bad they want to grind her up. They do. <laughs> but a lot of men come to my defense, which I really appreciate. Cause because men are like, you bitches ain't shit. Because you're saying real shit. They're lying. Yeah. Like they mama. Well. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> hey, this is the Cali Kickback. I love everybody. Thank y'all so much. Y'all Bye, subscribe. Guys. You feel me? We out this thing. <laughs>